Can everybody hear us? Hello. 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 Hi. Welcome. Can we have my tea? Can you guys hear us well? My Taco Bell. Because I have I an extra oh. mic thing if it's not sounding too loud, but if it's fine. Do we need to get the other mic? That's what I'm asking. No, I'm saying what you want me to wrap. Hello. Hello, everyone in the chat. I hope you can hear us. How many people are here? Do you know? 27. Uh, 27. Hello, 27 of you. Yo, Jack. What's up? Okay, Nick. I'm on time. Two videos in a row. Mind blowing. John breaking, earth shattering, Ooh. cultural reset, <laughs> innovative. What does she say? Like, show Fantastic show starting. Iconic. You're good. Okay, Justin. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. How is everyone? <laughs> How is everybody? Uh, is, we have not done a live in so long. What day is today? This Saturday? It's out of the ordinary now. Hello, Carolyn and Thrift Holla. Hello. Who's always in our chat. Posh with pets. Hello, Hello, Ray. Hi, Nick. As soon as we said posh with pets, Mike rubbed his face on the computer stack. Stack of boxes so. that you guys <laughs> Running late to work. Oh, oh my gosh, you work this late? Joining JoJo. Thank you for joining us. Hello, I have fun at work. Hope you have a nice shift. <clears throat> I'm glad you guys are making friends in the comments. Drift Hala and Caddy <laughs> are following each other. I want to talk about what they don't do with them, so. Danica, you know, I uh, Five Guys is tricky. Because it's good. Oh, but down. it's like, it's kind of expensive for like yeah. the quality. Yeah. Not the quality. The quality is really good. But like for the amount of food you get, I feel like it's not worth like yeah. the amount of money. I've only yeah. once been to a Five Guys, and the only thing I can remember that I appreciated was like the free peanuts. Oh, something. it's like a—is that Texas Roadhouse? I went in Chicago. If you know where Texas Roadhouse is? They have like, if you have Texas Roadhouse. <gasps> Renee, like, hello, Renee, hello, Renee. How are we you? missed you so much. Thank you for making it. I already ate. But I, I still, still have, have my bomb. <laughs> um. Okay. So if you go to Taco Bell a lot, try the. Baja Blast, like, I think it's a slushy freeze or whatever. Is it a freeze? I don't know what it is. It it's says that he can't so do five good. guys because it upsets his stomach. I I don't remember the effects it had on me. Like I said, I've only tried it once. But, like, I've also, yeah, I've heard it's, like, pricey it's, compared to other, like, similar well, places. Isn't there a big thing, like, they hand press your burger? Just go to like, isn't burger. that? Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Alexander, that's what it is. He wanted to put booze in it, but we are all out of vodka, so. <laughs> That's okay. You've been using okay. your pug butt. Yes, tea. we have, Ray. We've been using our pug butt coasters. We love those so much. They my mom, every time we go home, my mom's like, did you bring me home one yet? And I'm like, not yet, because we want them. But my mom wants one, so I hope it's okay if I end up giving her one, because she loves them. Okay, I'm going to start eating. I'm hungry. Yes. Alexandra, some Taco Bells. Oh, they Do used they to sell booze? those with booze in them. There are Taco Bells, and they are called. What are they called? Does anyone know? They're called like Taco Bell. There's less. I don't know. It's Deborah, Taco Bell something. Directly off yeah, your mic. Right <laughs> They're called Taco Bell something, and they have booze. I'm like, could you make a situation that's more perfect for myself? Cantina. Yes. Oh, talk about cantinas! They're in like Ooh. bigger. Mike literally matches my t-shirt. Also, by the way, I'm sorry that I'm not wearing the Taco Bell t-shirt that I said I would in the last Ooh. video. I spilt on it that night, and I got so upset because I was like, "Now Oops. I can't wear it for what it was made for." He had no hobby laundry in our apartment building. <laughs> say hi, Mike. Mike's favorite thing in the world. Mike will only say hi if we set the potatoes over here, like directly on the. See, now he says, "I'm he says, paying full Karen. attention." <gasps> oh, Nick picks the red. Thank you, Thank you Mike. so much. He says, You two are great. Goes towards the Taco Bell funds. My fave place to eat. Dang right. Ours as well. Thank you uh -huh. so much, Nick Pickthrift. The next mukbang will be partially on you now. So thank you. <laughs> this one's on Renee, by the way. If you guys don't know, Renee sent us a $25 Taco Bell gift card in the mail. 
She's an icon. icon. I love her so much. She, I think she ordered it online, so it came mailed <laughs> from <laughs> Taco Bell headquarters. In, like, and we literally Africa. thought that Taco funny. Bell was like, we see you guys. Here's like free Taco Bell for a year. I would have died. But I mean, I still died. Thank you, Renee, for sending us that. Okay. Sorry, by the way, if the camera is shaking, the mic is sitting on... We have you guys on a stack of party mailboxes because that's how classy we are. And he's breathing and very he's heavy breathing. because there's Taco Bell. So we're like going up and down. Oh, Ray said that she'll make one for Debbie and mail them. <gasps> you don't have to do that if, oh, Ray. Like, if you want to go ahead because she'll be so excited. But like, you don't have to do that. Seriously, mm -hmm. I can just give her one of them. If you want to move okay. away from the boxes? <laughs> Renee yeah. said, I did not mean to give you a heart attack. It's okay, Renee. We were still it's very, okay. very pleasantly it was surprised. Very fun. But we were just like, why is Taco Bell mailing us something? Like, you are shaking the camera a little too much there, Bobby. And that big thud was jumping off the back. <laughs> so, how are you guys? And what did you have for dinner? And how have your sales been? I had, I don't think, any yesterday, so that's fun. Um, and then I had yeah, one, I have had one more giant <gasps> nitpick. Rare. Stop this. I couldn't find Taco Bell for one and not the other She one. gave me oh. one money because she knows I eat more. <laughs> Probably. Ah. Yeah, Ryan's usually the heavier spender at Taco Bell. Okay. Thank you, nitpick Thrift. But thank you the very, next one is going to be on you. Oh my gosh. Literally, our total only ends up being like 20. So like, we, it's, you get a, like, they give us Taco a grocery bag of food. <laughs> and we only spend like 20 bucks. It's yeah. great. I got the Power Bowl because <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, we already had Taco Bell this week Bell on Thursday, and so well, I can't. So we got home from Minnesota, and we're like, I don't want to cook, I don't want to make anything. I just want Taco Bell. <laughs> so oh my God. we said mobile order, and it was great. It was really good. Mm -hmm. We tried the new. Um, uh, grilled cheese burrito. Ooh, she is a fit little burrito, <laughs> but it's very delicious. Mm -hmm. very, very good. Oh, Tiffany got Chinese food. I love Chinese food. There's so many good Chinese places in Minnesota. Minnesota has a lot of good Chinese food. It's weird. Iowa has a lot of like family owned Mexican, and then Minnesota has a lot of family owned Chinese. If you live in Iowa, this period. Go to just cute little Mexican restaurant chain no. called Abelardo's. No, it's not. oh my god, no, mm -mm. you hit different. You're so good. Mm -mm. Um, PWP to answer your question, I have an adult drink and then I have my um, a lovely little Baja slushy, and they are both very delicious. Dresden. My you are my queen. Like my two favorite like it's things so that no one knows about at Taco Bell are the shredded chicken burrito, best thing on the menu, They're so good. and the Fiesta potatoes, which literally used to be like a hidden menu item. They've now added them into the sides. Because they're delicious. But they're so good. You know how I to order. I literally, I get one every single time. Yeah. And they're amazing. I love the Fiesta potato. Yeah. You guys have also. Are you guys having any like wine or anything fun? Is anybody watching? having any any fun cocktails? This Saturday night, like any fun cocktails? Drive inside, eating Taco Bell. <laughs> Couldn't be happier. Why well, was had a glass of wine? Perfect. <laughs> so like PWP with wine. wine. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh yeah, which also just thought of this on the twentieth, the night of the twentieth. It's a Monday. We may not be having a video on the 21st, Tuesday, because on Monday the 20th, Nick, NCI Resale, who is like commenting in here somewhere. He's going to couch it. Obviously, he went to a different tab because he's not saying anything anymore. There, no, he there he is. <laughs> there he is. Um, he is going to be in our city. He's coming to visit us. He's because we're like going to live on our food time. We're, <laughs> we're real life friends. So mm -hmm. like, he's coming to visit us, and we're going to do a mukbang. I'm assuming as a live on YouTube. Honestly, Unless we record it, but we'll probably do it as a live. So. It's either going to be Taco Bell or this really, 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 really good chicken restaurant we have in our hometown. Pepper. It's called Peppers. It's called Peppers, but it is my favorite place to go. They home make all their sauce. 
So their rants. Astonishing. It's so good. Yeah. yeah. What else do I have? So, we finally going to do like live. So there's your taco. Pretty yeah. close to each other. Mmm. Kimberly is having a sangria. <gasps> nice. Ooh. Joining I JoJo is having sangria. a green machine smoothie, and that's all today. But that makes no. sense because remember, JoJo's on her way to work. Good so, good for, for you. Good for you, JoJo. Can <laughs> still drink before you go to work? I can because my work Kimberly said that we need bourbon and burgers for Jack's birthday. I don't good. like bourbon. I don't. I can't do dark liquor. I don't know why. I usually, messes me up. I usually do vodka. Mm -hmm. And Ryan, if he had the money, to, would do tequila. tequila. I love tequila only because I really, really, really love margaritas. Like that was my that's my favorite drink in the world. I get it all the time, not all the time. Again, whenever we go out for like cocktails, they're so good. But tequila and like a bottle is like 40, 50 bucks a bottle. Mm -hmm. and, like, when you know at our local grocery store, we can get like like six bottles of wine for. They have like a deal where like if you buy in bulk, they're cheaper. So like you know a couple times a month, like once a month maybe we'll like buy them all in bulk. And then yeah, <laughs> we look like you know we're shifting. We're coming out of the grocery store. Like, yeah, it lasts a while. Alexandra says she's with you and she doesn't like bourbon tequila all the way. It's so good. I and just had a bad experience like, with tequila. That's why I'm not a big fan. It tastes not as like nail polish remover. Yeah, as vodka. Like it actually has like a little bit of a taste to it. Mm -hmm. Which is vodka that's just like acetone. It's always hard to like pace out these lives. Like, when do we start the What's Love Saturday? <laughs> we did do QA this time. So obviously Ooh. you can ask questions in the comments. Yes. But we do have Instagram questions. questions saved up. We haven't mm -hmm. really read them ahead of time because we like to more like organically answer them. I did We've answer, like peaked a few times, but not. I, I answered Nick's little smart A question. <laughs> so if you know me, I'm notoriously awful at spelling and grammar. Nick decided to point that out again. So <laughs> why did you mistype something in your story? <laughs> I don't know how to use the right there. No, like, he does not. Period. Coming from a somewhat college educated education student, I am so bad with like there. T H E R E. T I know T H E apostrophe R E is like they are. That one's out of the way. But like T H E I R, mm, I don't know. One of them's possessive. It's and the other funny one is because like usually, there, but I don't know which one's which. Usually people <laughs> mess up there because they don't know or use the T-H-E-I-R. Not Ryan, Ryan only uses T-H-E-I-R. Don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> and they called him out for it. called me out. Good, I would have too, sounds mm -hmm. funny. So for my second appetizer, I'm having a Mike. spicy. Like, oh, he's literally just like body checking so he does this thing whenever we try to move him where he just like puts all of his weight on his like feet. So like you can't it's not gonna work. There you is. can't move him. Okay, that works better. Are you gonna sit? Thank you. <laughs> sit. Um let's say spicy chicken quesadilla with a little bit of cheese and this really, really good sauce. They're like a dollar. I get them all the time. They're so good. Beth says truly a mango lemonade for me. That sounds good. It's truly Ooh. a booze or is that just like normal? Mm -hmm. Either way, it sounds good. I do love a good lemonade. Yeah. No idea what to do. <laughs> Caddy says, I just turned 21, and I have no idea what is good to drink or to order at a bar. Any good suggestions? I just order a Red Bull vodka. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was always told that you're never supposed to mix booze with energy drinks. I just say, oh, I would like a margarita. They're so good, and you can have you can have them put sugar on them instead of salt, which is my my preference. It is mm. very, very delicious. It's the truly mango lemonade. Those things that are like knockoff white claws. Oh, <gasps> ooh, that are those good? good? I didn't buy any white claw for this, but I really you need to try the truly one. I know. I have heard people say good things about the them. The Lion and Kugel seltzers. Those are good. The pineapple one, what is like pineapple mango, is so, so good. They so taste good. It tastes good. That's what you get for mixing vodka with Red Bull. Jacqueline said wine cubes. They're vegan and the best wine at Target. Hmm. 
I don't know why and couldn't <laughs> be hanging. Hangover. What kind of animal product could they put in wine? Who knows? That makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> well, do you think I should do with like. Don't you dare say truly is knockoff white claw. It's knockoff white claw. Oh, gelatin. Mm -hmm. Just like we're breathing all these kinds of stuff. Deborah makes tacos every Tuesday for her son. We love a taco Tuesday. We, had, we always have Taco Thursday, except when we have a mukbang. Well, I've either been pregnant or breastfeeding for three years now. Breastfeeding, I'm sorry. Oh! White Claw is like if you ordered Truly from Wish. So Truly's better. Good to know. See, I've told him so many times. You should try tru Truly. I'm and he's like, oh, I'm just going to try White Claw. Oh, I'm just going to get White Claw, White Claw. <gasps> So I got a haircut, and if you can't tell, it's like in that really awkward phase where like it hasn't quite grown into itself yet. So this just kind of like it sticks out, and it just looks awful. Or I get a lovely little like monk bang, not monk bang, like monk bang. What do they mean? Like a fire tuck haircut, you know? But I don't no, call no, it like no. the donut. You never see no? It's like a monk, like back in the day, and they'd have this like circle of hair, and then the middle was just bald. My hair gonna lose no, it time, but I'm not going bald. So. Okay, so okay. truly lemonade. I am gonna have to try those. Yeah. They sound very delicious. So we are at a hundred people. Does that mean that we jump into what we sold? Since other you guys are here for, you're not here <coughs> to just watch us like ramble on about what and eat nachos. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they didn't give us a mint. You can always tell how good the taco the bell employees are by <laughs> they give you these little spicy cinnamons. Every now and again, they're very really good. So, with lives, as usual, we're going to do the interactive What Sold Saturdays. So, we like to hear how many oh, you guys sad. sold on the day that we're covering. No, we're just here to watch you ramble on your tacos. Trust me, there'll be oh, six. Hosh with that, so there'll be so much oh, girl, you more of that. You give me a minute. We're so professional here. Okay. Does anybody like, else like lick the cheese and sour cream off the top of the nacho box? Or at least, do it. if I pay for it, I'm going to eat it. When I pay for it. <laughs> I love that we're trying to run like respectable clothing sales businesses. And we're just like, is anyone able to make cheese off of plastic? Is anybody lay it off the top of your nachos? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Get one of them all. Okay. We're so professional. I am now having a nacho bo grande. Savannah. Hi, Savannah. Oh, girly. God, you're pregnant. <laughs> okay, so. I was going to say that too. I just don't think. So I always like kind of forget that some of my friends are like, well, yeah, some of friends, like, are like legitimately having children. And I'm like, oh, she's just doing great. And I'm like, oh, wait. She's about to get hurt. Yeah, so, Savannah, fine. I hope you're comfortable and I hope you are excited. Mm -hmm. Those maternity pictures, loved them. Those were so Those were so cute. And you're like, we just went to a field. I love that because, oh my gosh, they were so cute. They were uh, also that dress. thing you posted of like, how many days? Like 1,500 days of pregnancy? That like rattled me. I was like... Wait, 1,500? Yeah. There's 360... She's not pregnant for like five or years. Or no, what did she say? <laughs> what was it? It was like 15... <laughs> she's pregnant for like five years straight. No, oh my god. No, what was it? Oh my gosh. I said that wrong. <laughs> Savannah, please correct me. I feel like such an idiot now. Okay, so wait. So no, it was 1,500. Was it hours? It was like 1,500 something. Hey Siri, how many hours are in nine months? Oh! That was like 1,500 days! I feel like she's just She's just like, That's well, hilarious. I mean, in nine months, now we got it. One imagine? more year. Yeah, nine years later, Savannah's still pregnant. She's, she's like, like, I'm so excited for Ashley Day. She's so like, we're at day oh, 53. <laughs> Does anybody see that SpongeBob episode? Or the Krusty Krab. She's like, like we're on day 1053. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm talking about pregnancy. Okay. Anyway. And I haven't even had enough to drink to be saying things like that. Um, okay. okay. So, the first day of What's What Saturday is the fourth. Please let us know. <gasps> July 4th. What did everybody do for July 4th? Did you have fun? Oh, yeah. Did everybody have a good time? Did you all see my 4th of July pants that I purchased? 
I was very proud of those. We did get some fireworks, mm-hmm. thankfully. And I had some white wine. <clears throat> and I blew up fireworks. It was very safely. Lovely. See, this is what I'm talking about. The hair does this. And it looks awful. Anyway. So we were on vacation mode for a hot minute. And so was the fourth mm-hmm. still part of that one. I do believe it was. I, I had one sale on the fourth. Up on the fifth. I had one sale on the fourth. So I think that that was the last day, or the first day that we opened our stores. We didn't have any before. But that's fine because I feel like there probably weren't a ton of sales on a holiday, anyways. Mm-hmm. So, how many sales did you guys have on the fourth? Please let me know. Went blo- oh, Beth went boating. Ooh, uh, boating in the Florida Keys. <gasps> Beth, you bougie. Kim sold two. Nice, Kim. better than me. Posh with Pets sold two. One on Posh, one on eBay. Good for you, PWP. Caddy did not up. have a sale. She was at the beach eating crepes. That is a good reason. Okay, see, a lot of people had n- low numbers. So, like, there's the best reason. I'm, I'm like, to not too upset that. Thank you, Ray. Ray loved my pants. Why, thank you. Oh, um, did I you like angry. Ryan's pictures he took of me in my pants and said pants? I saw Angry Owl in the chat. Glad you got those vintage pants, girly. Because they're very pretty. I need to like scrape some. Two sales, three. Okay, so Miranda's winning with three. Miranda. <laughs> she says, I win. Okay. My one sale was. This was a weird situation, Ooh, actually. She's tied with Tiffany. Oh. My one sale. Was this pair of Wilfred, which is an Aritzia brand, which is really Wilfred trousers, and it's weird because these have been returned to me, but not how you would expect. So I've sold these before, and the person opened the case and was like, "They don't fit me like they fit the model," and Posh was like, "Okay," and so that was declined. That return was like, "No," weird. And so then she put them in the mail and wrote, "Return to sender." And wrote, well, I just don't want them. And so I got them back. Okay. You want to do what? that? Go for it. But like, yeah. So that's what happened with those. And I sold them again for 25 Love. Sold them for 25 and I got 20 Wait, is it a Canada? Is it? If it's Canada Day. Day. Is it Canada Day? <laughs> Happy Canada Day. Cool. Pam also had three sales. Mm-hmm. Like I'm missing something. <laughs> oh, it was left first. It is not Kim. Oh, today. thank you, Kimberly, for Never saying mind. that about my pants. <laughs> that was July first. Okay, so what is going on? Posh with pets. Your wine Stop is making me think people. that it's Canada Day. <laughs> Thanks, though. She said, "Happy Canada Day." What's the? Oh, okay. okay. How many sales? Did you have none then on the fourth? No, didn't have any. On the fifth, how many did you guys have? Mm-hmm. 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 Five. We have five big ones. I had one. Again. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh my gosh. I am all kinds of screwed up. I have literally had no booze yet. So that was actually one of my sales from the fifth. My sale on the fourth was a Lauren Moshi skull tank top. And that (laughs) sold for 40 and gave me 32. And the Wilfred pants were on the fifth. And then this was my other one on the fifth. <coughs> Coach Blue Ooh, Wristlet. And it sold for 18, and that gave me 1440. And that is my fifth. Okay. Tiffany had four. Tiffany was killing it this week. Good for you, Tiffany. Dang, Tiffany. Okay. So my first, let me put my nachos down. My first on the fifth was this new tag Anthropology Dolman Cheetah Print Mixed Media Tank Top. She was very cute. I mean, I get that ring light in there. And she was also plus size. So I love, love, love when I find the A-plus stuff because it sells so quick and it's so cute. Um, that one sold for 32 with a shipping discount, I believe. Yes. So I made 23.48. And then my next one. So this was kind of like one of those little happy accidents. I was at a thrift store that we go to a lot. And they are notorious for marking stuff up really, really high. Um, I found this men's Lululemon block striped t-shirt. And they marked it at like... 99 cents. I was like, okay. She's just basic. Um, and I sold it for $15. I made 12. You know, it was kind of faded. I was like, sure. And I paid a dollar for it. 
And then next, this bundle went to Julie. Secondhand Glory, if you were here. Hey, sis. So she got this Zella. <clears throat> God, I got chips from my throat. Excuse me. She got this Zella you beige. Are so dainty. Beige ribber. Turtleneck long sleeve. It was meant to say ribbed, not ribber. Um, and this new tag, Free People Knit Sleeve Dolman Top. Um, the Free People was a TJ Maxx find, and the Zella was a Bits find. Zella was super cute, just kind of cream. I'm trying to angle it so it's not yeah, just Yeah, why are like, you putting it so low? So it's not just like, well, so it's like, right there. Yeah, but I don't want to get the ring light. But you can tilt it. There we go. Okay, so the bundle sold for 56 and the bundle sold for 70 excuse me, and I made $56. Next, I had a good bin of plus size men's stuff. Last time we went to the bins. So I got this pair of 2X uh, Patagonia baggies, black shorts. They sold for 30. I made 30. I made 30. They sold for 40. I made 32. No, they didn't. They sold for 30. I made 24. You are also all like. I'm all over the place tonight. But, wow. You know, we having? didn't even have that intense of a day. <laughs> no. I don't, we took we pictures. Didn't have that and... <laughs> we got groceries. And then next, oh, this was a fine. So I got it at Goodwill, listed it, and it sold within five minutes. Very, very, very lovely. Was this torrid um, mandala print, mandala print, tie front <laughs> skater dress? It was so cute, and it literally just she was like, "I love it." Sold for thirty eight dollars, and I made thirty forty. Back to my nutshells. We go. Okay. Six. Mm. Two. Mm -hmm. I had two again. So vacation mode was off, but like we were physical still... real life vacation mode was still on. We still weren't really like sharing or anything. So, Brian, are you li still listening while you're in the store? You know, maybe <laughs> if it comes to that, I will. If anybody doesn't know, I found a pair of outdoor voices pants. A style encore in Minnesota, and I was really bored while everybody was checking out. So I like tucked the tag behind them and listed them on the floor. And they sold that same day for like fifty bucks. So, which was funny. One zero two one three. Red two. Dresden had three. Thrift Hollis said, "Gives it, give us a thumbs up. Thank you, Thrift Hala. Good she idea. Could not be more accurate." <laughs> Nick had four. Oh. Tiffany had six. Tiffany Rude. says, oh. She says, Nick, let me show you what. Watch out. <laughs> Miranda, if I find new with tag stuff, I do that sometimes also. And then you add the pictures in later. Mm -hmm. I did that. Okay, so my first one was from my own the personal Ooh. collection. And it was this Adidas Originals Warped Stripe Tank. And it sold for $32 and gave me $23.48. That sold to the first person that liked them. Like, that sold when I listed them. <clears throat> then my second and last sale was this Anthropology Tied Floral Shorts. And they sold for $25 bucks and gave me 20 I would have okay. wanted more, but I was having no sales. So... so my first on the sixth was this new tag Veronica Beard jeans Moana eyelet white top. I don't know what that has to do with the Disney Princess Moana. Moana. But anyway, um, it sold for forty five and I made thirty six. It was really pretty, but it did have a little kind of like a little blue transfer stain from the tag in the armpit, which was unfortunate. And then Jack screamed at me. When I sold these for this low. But in my defense, they had been through the ringer. They were so, not like, you know, devastated, but like they needed some TLC. I just didn't feel like that. Um, so it was these, not new tag, oh my God. Um, these Lululemon Blue Align 25 high waisted leggings. And I sold them for 20 bucks. I listed them at I think 35. And within like two minutes, I got a $20 offer. I was like, I found them the men's. I don't feel like deep healing them. They're hers. So she got a good pair of leggings. And, and I'm $15. If you don't know, like, aligns are like the 
most sought after Lulu pants. Everyone thinks it's Wonder Unders. Mm -mm. Aligns, like people will go crazy. They sell super fast, super well. Unbeknownst to me. The and then Ryan goes, 20 bucks? Okay. 20 dollars. Hey, you know, I got what I asked for him. I accepted for offer. Okay, so Yasmin and Vero said that they both just got here. And what did they miss? All we've done <laughs> is talk about we got two days of Taco Bell, and we're mm, on the 6th, and this week covers the 4th through 10th. Yeah. And we were on vacation mode. That's all you guys. Drifty Stu said, I lost my alliance years ago and haven't been able to find size 6 black alliance for under 80. Mine were blue. I was going to tell myself But there's still alliance. I know. I thought they were paley. Brian, I literally sold a line 25 inch leggings this week for 55 and 3 pounds. The, were they really pilly though? They weren't even that bad. Ryan's they just trying bad. to overexcite. No, the three. entire interior was like pilled out. Streets heavy. I've been living in a line during this pregnancy. They're a miracle. All five years. Everyone wants a line. 1,500 days of her pregnancy. Even pilly, you could get more than 20 bucks. I know. More than 35. How you probably could get 40. Mike, if you could keep your hairs out of my nachos, you would be wonderful. They were worn. The black one that he sold. See? No. <laughs> well, you know. I sold like camouflage lines for like 120 bucks. She got a good deal. And I made a little money. Okay. So, so this was my good day of sales. I can't. Not number wise, but um, oh. profit wise. So, how did y'all do on the seven? Oh my God. I'm having a problem. Or. I had four sales, but they were good. At least one of them was very good. Let me stop beating up on Ryan. Says Beth. Beth. Yeah, Jack. It's Listen fun. to Beth. Stop beating up on. Ryan. Dang, Jacqueline made ten sales. Good for you. In the seventh. And Angry Owl said, "Does anyone else sell Iviva?" So I have never had any luck with Iviva, but Ryan has said that he will bundle Iviva when it's the same size, and that. Does I, do that really all, well. I do that all the time. Same thing with Brandy Melville. You find like meh Brandy Melville pieces, lot them up and throw them together and sell them for 40, 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. Those little teeny tiny girls, I love them. Unless you have the rare Brandy Melville stuff that apparently is worth like 100. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my first sale, we were walking around the outlet center. Actually, not walking around. We were just going to one store there and then booking it out of there. But while we were walking to the store, I sold this pair. If you see me, see Instagram. Wait, outlet center. Levin's? The outlets. Like, oh, like the outlet mall. Yeah. Oh, okay. I sold this pair of Christian Louboutin, and they were from the bin. And she offered me two hundred and fifty dollars. I took that in less than a heartbeat. Heartbeat. And I made two hundred bucks from the bins. Off of a pair of bin shoes that are thin, my <clears throat> dude. Didn't weigh very much. Then I sold this pair of Levi's five hundred ones, and they sold for fifty dollars. I have more of these actually, but she offered me fifty bucks, and so I made forty. Then I sold this Patagonia pink half zip Why did they have to do that? for 36 and that gave me 26.68. And my last one on the 7th was this pair of Kate Spade pearl detail heels. And they sold for 33 and that oh. is because they were missing a pearl. Mm -hmm. And that gave me 26.40. I actually had a pair that wasn't missing a pearl too from like some completely different location. And they sold for a lot more than 30. So. Okay. So my first on the seventh relief really anthropology, Cicella, it's hard to find mules. These were so, so hard to find. Mules. So they're not Is that, that hard they're to find. Called? Yeah. They're not that hard to find. It was a woven brown mule. Very cute. Um, I have too many shoes as of current. So I sent out $70 and free shipping. And she accepted. So I made $48.89. And then I sold a three item bundle. Of this frame, Melrose Place came to so bad, like frame jeans. Um, this new without tag, Urban Outfitters, black crop top. 
but she shows up on my phone. And then this, so I found these couple t-shirts at Goodwill that didn't have any markings on them. So I was like, I'm a boutique now. And I like throw a little funky name on them. So I called this one that you're a star baggy print pocket t-shirt. You just took it on yourself to name them. I did, but it was cute though. Um, and the bundle sold for fifty-five dollars with a shipping discount, and I made forty-one eighty-eight. Man, this was a find. I found this at a consignment store for half off. Ooh, excuse me, nachos. It was Denim and Supply, Ralph Lauren, and it was this like I think somebody called it a serape, a serape. It was a poncho, and it was very pretty colors and had a little tassel hem on it. And I listed it really, really high at a hundred. Sounds like it was only a few of these on Posh, and I got an offer at sixty, and I made forty-eight dollars, which was very good money because I did not pay anyone near forty-eight dollars for it. And then. I sold, so the same guy that donated the black pair of Patagonia baggies donated his blue pair. And these ones sold for 32. <clears throat> I don't remember if these had a shipping discount, they did. So I made 23.48. So I basically paid for my entire bin strip that time with two pairs of shorts. And on that note, Mike says goodbye. <laughs> okay, V8. How many? Sales that you guys have on the eight. It's three. Four. I had four. Hello, Jacob. Thanks for joining us. Happy Saturday to the song. You never have too many shoes. You can to sell. You can when they live in plastic bins in yeah. the corner of your apartment. Carolyn had four. Caddy had three. Miranda had one. Tiffany had two. Three Tiffany. Christ. Um, I think the Alliance can get that like sticky thing, can't they? Mm -hmm. yeah, I feel because... like every Lulu can get that. Okay, Savannah. She's just like, I don't know, I had 12. Oh, okay. Okay. My first sale was this Rolling Stones graphic tank top. Look very cute. With a mic hair. And that sold for 25 and gave me 20. Then I sold this pair of Zara pink distressed mom jeans. That was oh, a TJ Maxx so find, I believe. And that sold for $40 and gave me 32. Then I sold this Kate Spade blue leather crossbody. And it had the dust bag, and that was actually in the bins. In the dust bag. I know. This is funky. And that sold for 60 and gave me 48. And then I sold this pair, if you can hear Mike, I apologize. I sold this pair of frame high rise cropped jeans. They were really cute. For only 40 bucks, and that gave me 32. I only took 40 because apparently I had sent her 44 with discount shipping before. I don't know when that happened. But. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. My first on the 8th was this new tag, Lily Pulitzer Target Green Floral Jumpsuit. So luckily, the good was that we go to Minnesota, get all the Target clearance. And when they did the Lily collab, there was a jumpsuit that every, every, everybody wanted. And I find them all the time. So this one sold for $30, and it was a size extra large. And I made 24 which was great. And then, on the 8th, I sold this pair of Torrid Lace Insert Tie-Dye Denim Shorts, size 18. Um, I tie-dyed these myself. They were cute when they were white, but, oh, like... putting it way down there. Am I? They were cute when they were white, but, like, they could be cuter. So, I got an offer at 30, and I took it, so I made 24. Um, and then, I sold this pair... This pair, I sold this top. It was a new without tag reformation. It was the Claudia tie neck. Are you done? Can you please calm down? <laughs> the Claudia Time Neck crop top. Um, it was worn by <clears throat> what's her name? Emily uh, Emily Radic I don't know who she is, but she's famous. Um, and it sold for forty dollars. I need thirty-two, and I do believe that's it. Are you, you need to finish it? your nachos? I know. So I okay, I'm almost on. done. Okay. So no. what date was that? Mine was the ninth. 
So we're gonna make ten. We're gonna track this. I'm gonna do this over here. No, now we're on the ninth. Right. How many did you guys have on the ninth? I don't have any on the ninth. Three. I had three. Zippo. Unfortunately. She was the blank girl in the blurred line too. <gasps> wow. Good for her. <laughs> That's really interesting. Well, if you wanted her crop top. <laughs> I sold nothing, sorry. Are you gonna calm down? Yeah, can you give me Yeah, I mean from the trash. Okay, let's see. Kimberly had four. Jay had one. <laughs> Sasha Fred said, poor Mike. He's fine. He, have you seen him? He's fine. He doesn't He's labeled overweight every time of the day. He is a true Yeah, okay. We'll be right back in the back. Um, Tiffany had one. Charlotte didn't have any. Catherine had three. Miranda didn't have any. Hey, Ryan didn't have any either, so it's okay. Mm -hmm. Barrow had six. Dang. Nicole had one. PWP had one. Beth had two. Sweet Savvy had six sales, and they were each ten dollars. Good to know. Carolyn had five. <laughs> Sweet Savvy says Mike wants nachos. Mike would literally wants any food he can get his like little clawed hands onto. Thank you for joining us, Shauna. Okay. Oh, this is Ryan's. I believe it's Anthro, I think. Oh my gosh. Okay, Savannah, fine. Whatever. So my first one was this Anthropology TLA smocked peplum tank, and it was new with tag. I did not expect this to sell for this price because, like, it's a little basic. By little, I mean, like, very. And it sold for 45 which was my asking price. I only listed it that high because it was new with tag. And the tag said 78 I'm still not really sure why I even listed it that high. Oh, that made you count? No, no, TLA. Oh, what um, it was and black. so I earned 36 Then I sold another Rolling Stones item, and this is a gray voodoo concert band tee. Oh, oh, I cracked my back when I sneezed. That's it's I mean. funny because I found this in the bins, like... All better. I found this in the bins a long time ago, and then I gave it to my dad, and then he never wore it, and then he was going to donate it, and I said... I can sell that. So uh, I took it yeah. and I sold it for 25 bucks and I got 20. And my last one was this Bowden Agnes Fair Isle pattern sweater. I'm shocked it even took this long, even though I haven't had it that long. Super, super cute and Fair Isle was super in last winter and I kind of have a feeling it will be again this winter. And it sold for 50 bucks and gave me 40 that had... 36 likes, oh, that so that's pretty so good. Cute. Yeah. Ah. Ooh, if anybody doesn't know me, I sneeze at least five times after I eat. Religiously. It happens all the time. <laughs> Don't know why. <laughs> okay, and then <gasps> on the 10th, I had two sales. Ooh. Okay, I had one, two, and three. So, my first one was this Kate Spade coated canvas dome bag. Also, everyone please tell me how many sales you guys had. Thank you, Courtney. It was from the bins, and if you go through the pictures, Ooh. it Ooh, had she, she was really it had some like pink purpley marks on it. And so I took 25 bucks and I got 20. And then I sold this bundle of three Adidas Originals t-shirts. This one, which was from the bins. This one, which was my own. That one was cute. I knew it was cute. And this one that was from a Plato's Closet. It was from Farm Rio collaboration. Oh, and together the those stuff is so cute. They sold for 55 and gave me 44. Yeah, okay. So my a lot of you had good sales. My first one on the tenth was a full price sale that I was very, very happy about. Um it was this new tag reformation tank top that I scored at the 40% off um Nordstrom Max sale. 
and it sold for full asking price of sixty-eight dollars, which I think was a little That's high, great. but I'm not mad. I made fifty-four forty, which was a blessing. And then I sold something else from that same Russian rack trip, which was this new tag mod cloth gourd novelty print mini skirt. I have seen this before somewhere. I got a speed in 40 and I took it for 24. In the end, I sold the last one of these new with that tag. I'm not finished crop chops for 18. But they were like, I think, two to 250 at the Tuesday's Yell Tag clearance. So I'll take some of Oh, yeah. And here, Ooh. I just want to report this because it's super, super good. So I had one Trades V sale this week. And it was this Burberry Brit, like gray, kind of Novacek wool. They call it like a trench dress or something because it has a belt. What about that's going to the trenches? Like a trench coat dress. Almost. Oh. Because it's like belted. It just, I don't know. It has like the collar and Ooh, everything. Sometimes. Um, it sold on Tradesy for $296. No offering, not even any messaging. I just got an email that was literally like, you sold this two days ago. Did you notice? And I was like, no, I had not. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, we love that. That That's was it. a nice surprise. So I'm still liking Tradesy. <laughs> I love Tradesy. Oh, okay. I was like, and my name, my gross. Yeah, no, we didn't. <sighs> Not we, we forgot to collect or uh, <sighs> to calculate the net and the gross. So I can tell it wasn't. I can like, tell it wasn't like the best week, but it wasn't the worst because I had. The, it definitely was not the worst week. No, it's a blessing. You're not on trades yet, Selena. Are you kidding me? You better boot those Gucci shoes you just posted today. Yeah, you better put those on trades. You better send them to me. Except trades women's. Were those women's shoes? I have seven. Oh, no, I yeah, I actually do because it's not on my mind. Actually, I think they were. Were they a woman's seven? I was like stalking the comments, and someone was like, "What's that?" You said like woman's seven. I'm still so waiting on that coat. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I do not have clothes mentors in my state. I love clothes mentor. That's no, like my favorite consignment. So okay, good. Seven and a half. Not my okay. size. Thank the Lord. They're Ryan's mom's size. Can you imagine little Janet? Janet doesn't wear anything. Like, her nicest thing is, like, emotional. <gasps> Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. Cynthia. Cynthia visited us. In Cynthia, Minnesota. if you don't know You're Cynthia so Halverson, who is in the comments right there. She Go lives in California, her. and she's a photographer. And she used to live in Minnesota, and she came to visit her family, and we hung out with her for the day. She's a super fun. We went well, thrifting, and I found super good finds, so Cynthia might be good luck. I 100% think she is. Caddy has it exactly right. She said, love tradesy, random high dollar sales, and you don't put in any work. And you really exactly don't. Exactly right. Um, Caddy also says, how many active listings do you have on Posh? Oh, excuse me. I had 440 a little earlier today because I'm trying to get to 500. I would love to have 500. So let me check. I have... Um, I have, where is it again? Oh, I have 828. <gasps> I got, I don't think I've ever been in the 800s before. I got 440, which I probably should put after I finish this thing. But I have a ton more stuff to list. So I do too. That number I might hit a thousand. Very oh. high. Which like, I actually would love to be at a thousand, except for how much room that takes up. That's the only reason I don't want to be a thousand. Oof, add another hundred. We are like, oh my God, our floor is going to break through at this point with the amount of stuff we have now. Can you imagine that? That classroom is so full. We should do another tour. That'd be a fun video. Like an updated classroom tour. Yeah. yeah, how many active listings do you guys have? Can you stock photos on Tradesy? Yes, you can. You 100% can. But it's funny because they edit out the background. No matter mm -hmm. what picture is your first picture, it will be a white background, which mm -hmm. I think is hysterical. <clears throat> Nick is getting close to 1,000. Oh, yeah, and I look think... what happened to Nick's house. It broke. <laughs> I think after I list all my stuff, I could be getting close. I think I'll at least be at 900, which is, like, scary. Because also I don't want to feel like I'm, like, limited when I go sourcing. Yeah, is the problem. So we I might have to do position. some mystery boxes. <gasps> oh, do a big half off sale. Possibly. We love a half off sale. Mm -hmm. I don't like half off sales. 
Do you guys do batch work? What I'm is that? I'm not sure what that is, Maggie. I've caused so much damage. Stephanie has yeah, 450 on Posh, 620 on eBay. I have zero on eBay. I deleted everything I had because it was your team. 211, 600, 199. We get the 300. 300 is a good part time seller amount. Mm -hmm. Zero. Nick, I've caused so much damage. Yeah, Nick's whole, like, every closet in his house collapsed at once, and I don't, I the don't house blew up, basically. Okay, so wait, batch work. Explain this to me. What is that? Is it just like... I don't... Mm -hmm. Savannah likes to be at 1500 When we have, like, a house... Sure. See, I was going to say, we got sure. a house, but, like, with our apartment, I cannot. No. Wait, yeah. Savannah, what is batch work? Someone, please. What is batch work? Becky Partners posted a great video. Oh, thank God. My educational queen. I want 400 before summer. What drink Sets is that? Um, it is a twisted tea with lemonade in it because these are my favorite. We have an unfinished basement. Oh my god, it's a crap. <laughs> do you mean everything in bulk? Apple Pencil do we and do iPad. everything in bulk? That's what batch work is. Oh. Well, like, okay, so we like get a ton of stuff from the bins. And I put it all in an Ikea bag. I take pictures of it all at once. I list it all the next day at once. Is that batch work? Probably. I, don't know. I guess that it's makes sense. I mean, like, yeah. That yeah, I don't like trick. I don't like picture, list, price, picture, list, price. Ugh. Like, it's like all pictures, next day, all listing. Like a day for each thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we 100% do that because it's the only way that I can not want to throw myself off the balcony. And it's the fastest <laughs> way I feel like I can do it. Really, really I feel really like is. I'd be really slow if I did it, like, if one by like, one. Or even if I split it into, like, groups, it'd be really slow. I try to mm -hmm. just, like, knock each step out yeah. separate days. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay, so good to know. Wow, I love that everyone knows this term and we're like, what? <laughs> What's that? Um, I can't wait to have a classroom office. Oh, zero. It's so nice to have a Ooh. classroom. It definitely Get that is, room, though, paint at least one wall white. A double-edged sword, because, Wonderful. oh my god, it can be a pain in the butt trying to keep the thing clean. Mm -hmm. Oof. So just make sure you got organizing systems in place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, very true. Mm -hmm. Yes. I barely read it, so <laughs> You list in batches. Bonnie, I list until my eyes hurt. Yeah. That's kind of how I'm like, okay, I'm looking at the computer. I usually <laughs> take all the pictures in one day, and then sometimes I split the listing into days because, like, yeah. I just can't sit there staring at my computer, like, all day. No. And, like, I used to get really bad migraines when I would all be staring at my, like, on my computer. So I got a pair of blue light glasses, but I'm still, like, this isn't good for you to just, like, stare at your computer for how many hours? So, like, Vera said we're all Becky fangirls and fanboys here. We Very are true. 100% so are we. Are. We she love Becky. She's so nice. I love Becky. I love Becky. She's so nice. Have you been a tour? We have done like I think there's two, two or three tours of the posh now year. because it has changed a few times. We've rearranged her. So, so like the moving in one. Yeah, we did an original just one. Like boxes called the apartment like tour. That's kind of a nightmare. I wouldn't even go back. It was fun though, I will say. <laughs> um, but if you want to see the most updated tour of the Posh Room, I believe that is in the Poshmark video that we were featured in. Oh yeah, the um, AM to PM. We did the Poshmark AM to PM, and they were like, "Film parts of your day, remember?" And we we had in one of ours that like I don't remember how recent that was though. And we were just like, "Here's our Posh <clears> Room," <throat> and they just kind of like you know did this cute little edit. Of our whole little setup. It was really sweet. And I think that one is the most current. Updated. If I'm not mistaken. Unless, like, it somehow got into, like, a vlog read or something. I don't remember. So, yeah, we had the apartment tour. I swear there is one more recently that was, like, tour plus something. Plus ship with us. Right? We did, like, a shipping video recently, I think. Hmm. And it had a tour in it. Did we? we were like discussing this question so deeply as like anyway <laughs> there will probably be a new one that comes out soon so bonnie asked how do you decide what to list on which platform Ooh, bonnie. so we at least me i think ryan did the same i list mm -hmm. everything on posh 
yeah. then I use like lists perfectly to like put them where else I think they'll fit well. Mm -hmm. Like Torrid goes to Mercari right away really quick. But like bougie things go trade. Like Sundance and J. Crew mm -hmm. go to eBay. Mm -hmm. Expensive things go to trade C. And then if I have like free time, I'll like try to get everything that like never happens. But no, if I had all the time in the world, I would like spread them all out everywhere. But I like priority prioritize, prioritize. <laughs> what will do best on which place. Okay, let me put my teeth in to make this be more family friendly. <gasps> oh, Ladybird said, How are you guys? Miss you. Good to see you back live. Oh, hello, hello Ladybird. Queen. She's How always watching. Been? She's so sweet. We're good. How are you? She goes, Oh. Can you do some kind of collab with Becky? We did. We did do oh, an interview know. with Becky on her channel, but like, I would love to do like a more like. Oh, oh. I don't even know. A little like that'd be interesting. Like an after six p.m. video. That'd be so fun to yeah. just like chit chat with her. Yeah. Like, uh, well, Ryan's gonna be a reselling teacher, so they're kind just of the like same. Becky. <laughs> yeah. Except she teaches choir, and I'll teach art. Yeah. Um, do you include measurements and listings? This is a me question. Uh, pictures of the measurements or just a list of measurements? If so, what are you saying measurements? Sorry, I have horrible eyes. Um, I do include measurements in all my listings if I can. I don't take pictures because I think that takes, like, it's kind of too hard to figure out, especially because all my items are, laying, like, up against the wall hanging. Um, but I just do, like, pit to pit, top to bottom. And if it's jeans, I do waist, front across, inseam, and then rise. Um, handbags, I can usually find like pretty exact measurements on like the original website or you know if it's vintage, I'll measure it. Um, but I do try to include measurements in all of my listings because I hate when people say, Do you have measurements? and then they don't buy it. <laughs> so, so they can just read it and don't buy it. I don't know, which is a blessing. I am not very good at including measurements, but if I do, I try to prioritize like jeans and pants. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like people more care about jeans a lot with measurements. So you don't get like seams and stuff. Yeah. And like rises. So, yeah, to me, measurements just take a lot of time and like, yeah, I, mean, I make the sales without having them. So I don't. Yeah. Them. They definitely like. I know it's good to do take a teeny little bit of extra time, but like to me, I'm like, I would rather put in a little bit of extra work than deal with like somebody who's really irritating on the back end. Which would be a blessing. Right oh, here. Amanda. Can I like highlight? Can I pin this or something? <laughs> We're not gonna remove it. No, I wanna like pin your comment just because it makes me so happy. Okay, so Amanda said Aww. that she was having a bad night seeing us live just yeah, made everything so much better. I Literally, that is like the best thing I've ever read. That's that is so, so sweet. sweet. I'm sorry you're having a bad night. And Oh, Lady, Lady Bird. Bird. My two love my loves. Two love love loves. Love we love you, Lady Bird. You're so sweet. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy to see you in the comments. I know. Like, it's, it that. always like, makes yeah. my night when I see that you're in our comments. Um, Dresden, about my list perfectly code. I emailed everybody. So we'll see what happens with them. But I have one. Lipped thrift. <laughs> they do so, the same thing, I think. We'll see what, we'll see um, what comes out. Jay asked. Do you guys list in season or do you list like all items all year? Oh, so Ryan used to only list in season. I feel like I definitely still kind of like hold stuff aside for like a little bit later, but I mainly just kind of like get don't. it up when I get it. I would understand maybe shopping in season, like you pick up less coats in the summer. Yeah, but if you have the item, just list it. I know, because like if it's, it's not sitting do there like, in your posh it can't sell. But say you had it listed, it may. Obviously, it's less likely to, but exactly. it might. It's better to have it listed, exactly. Because like it'll still be there in winter. You can even relist it if you want. That's like, what I was just gonna say. It's like but, list it whenever you get it. Like you know, if you kind of down coat in the middle of June, get it up just in case anybody's like, well, I'm not now, but like going on a vacation or you know going somewhere that's like a little bit more cold, mm -hmm. just in case. And then if it doesn't, just like. You list it. Or now that you can have the new um, uh, like copy feature mm -hmm. on the page, just do that. Just copy it and you know, repost it again in. Savannah like, said I'm about to list Sorel boots right now. Snow boots and it's 100 degrees. It's 100 exactly. degrees in Colorado. Global warming is real. 
I have had people buy things completely off season for me. So like like coats in summer. Exactly. So um someone says what does well on trade C because she's down Jacqueline because she's gonna download yeah. it right now. It's kind of higher end. It's very well, like or like really um like trendy like Zara or like things that you see on like royal family it's like really prevalent celebrities that kind of stuff is really good along with like higher end like bags and clothes so, and SLGs and that so kind of like the real real at mm-hmm. least used to be I feel like trades is a very like undiscussed kind of like obscure reselling area it's like the real real but it's not consignment it's like individual sellers and so I think we're gonna make a video on tradesy because like I don't see anyone else doing that again like the real real and so mm-hmm. Yeah, at some point we'll ask you guys to like ask us questions about it. We're not like experts on it That'd at all, really but we've used it for like a little while. But I really like Trade Z. Lots of high end. Anthro can sell on there. Free people oh, can sell yeah. on there. Yeah. Um, you can list anything. Mm-hmm. Zara, I have heard, sells really well. Zara's Handbags well. and shoes, kind of not even brand dependent, can do very well on there. Mm-hmm. So it's just, it's it's very like random. So if you said I have 960 items listed and 1,000 items in it. Cynthia, you live in the mid-century Cynthia. modern. You better get that listed, really. <laughs> Kippies aren't going to be too happy. Wait. What? I have some free people coats new with tag that sold for $1,600. <laughs> Verbatim. What? I have some free people coats new with tag that retailed for sixteen hundred dollars plus, and I just listed them. What Are kind you of sure? Three people coat. Oh, is this well, the wine dude. talking, or do you really have sixteen hundred dollars? No, because remember um, that like magnolia pearl. Yeah, the denim moment was like seven fifty. Please tell me the pets. Please tell me the I, name of this. I feel bad. I'm sorry. I Christina says, "Jack, what's your list perfectly code?" So my code is flipped thrift. F L I P P E B T H R I F T. I don't think it has to be any caps anywhere. No, she said they're not. None of the are case sensitive. That gets you thirty percent off your first month. You can pick whatever plan you want. Just do the simple one. The simple one is good enough. Um, the twenty nine dollar a month plan. That's all you need, sis. Yeah, when it gets you thirty percent off the first month. But you can like try it for three days, and if you don't like it, you can cancel or something. I don't know. Um, We're literally not being paid to say anything about it. All of our opinions are totally our own. Like, yes, we have an affiliate, like, affiliate code, code but, like, but no. we're not being paid to, like, say they're great. Like, literally, uh, one of my Instagram comments is, have you tried Vendu? Yes, I have. We have. and it That's was why awful. I like this perfectly so much, because, like, Vendu is... Vendu is... is I know, I think Samantha might kind of come after me for this, but, like... <laughs> I hated it. I, I hate like how you it. can only do 10 things at a time. It was so annoying. And I remember... Like, I mean, they could have changed some things, but, like, when I last used it, I didn't. And, like, I remember when Vendu was free. And, and I still could didn't just, like, like sign up for it. And I was like, oh, great. Like, it's free. Perfect. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was kind of perfect. <laughs> you know, we all have opinions. Mm-hmm. Opinions are like, you know what? We all have one. <laughs> um, someone asked, what are the trades he fees? <laughs> So, is there a trade fee? Yeah, like I said, no. trade fee it ends up being about twenty percent because okay, wait, let's look. So that Burberry dress that I said it sold for two hundred ninety six, and I'm going to end up being able to take out two hundred thirty. Yeah, so it's pretty close to twenty percent. They charge nineteen point eight percent, and then if you put it into your bank account, they charge another two point nine percent. So it's like a teeny, it's like a hair and some air over 20%. Yeah, it's a little like, over 20 but. You don't have to, you just cross post it and like they do all the uh, photos. Usually you there's not, there. there's not offers. No, so. and people just buy things. Or they'll message you and say like, will you do this for 10, so shipping on TradeZ is you can like hit a button that says like add 1050 for shipping and then the buyer pays it and that goes into your, you know, whatever so you can ship it. But people, I've had a few times, they're like, will you take the $10 off for shipping? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. You know, if you're talking, like, a two, $300 item, 10 bucks is a drop in the ocean. Yeah. So, like... On Tradesy, you can, like, private message. Awesome. There's no comments. There's... Mm-hmm. People like things, but you don't really know yeah. unless you go to your own page. Um, there's no offering. 
you can run a sale on all your items. They actually like say that you should. Wait, you don't, you don't like, have to though. No. You can do 10, 15, or 20% off. Doesn't it go up to 30? No, I think, I think it's up to 20 because I usually have 15. I think though, like, they on like special occasions, they'll say, like, we're running a promotional sale. Like, do you want it to be more? And you can hit like yes or no, yeah. which is super nice because I feel like on the real, real. Like, even if something is really expensive, if it sits there for, like, just a little bit too long, it goes on clearance. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, if it's on Trade Z... <gasps> Becky! Okay, Becky, so we, we were, were all talking just about talking you, about you. Uh, all horrible, Look at everyone goes to Becky. Things. I'm kidding. We love you. Becky, we're all talking about how we're all your biggest fans. <laughs> us the biggest. We were! And people were I telling us that we need to do a collab. <gasps> Besides the interview, apparently, we need to do a collab. So we need to work that out. Maybe it'll be some kind of like teacher reseller collab. <gasps> Can and I'll just that? like sit that in the would background be so quietly. Fun. Let's, be like, let's talk about. Look at everyone's key. like more excited. They're like, okay, Jack and Ryan, be quiet. Can we like somehow call Becky into the video? Like, yes. <laughs> oh, Becky, DM me. <laughs> DM me on Instagram. Let's do the collab. It'd be so much fun. <laughs> oh, so Caddy, I hope I'm saying your name right. I've been saying Caddy the whole time. I hope that's how you say it. She said that Joie does as well. And that is. Probably true because I, I so. sold it once on there, but I've also only made like I don't know, like Wait, twenty sales on there. Kate must sing about it. Oh my god, yes! Let's do that right now. <laughs> like I'll leave. Paint something about reselling. I'll so just you. like she's just like oh. oh, I would love it. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> um, okay, I hate Joie. Like yeah, I, I don't pick it up. Joie anymore. was on one of our no lows. I will take it. You know, if I find it in the bins, obviously, because like it literally weighs nothing. But, like, if I get it at a thrift store and it's, like, new, cute, or, like, new with tags, I'm like, you know, and under, like, $5, I will. But I'll complain about it the entire time. Because <laughs> it doesn't, it does not sell anymore. Yeah. Like, I no. literally can't find it. Unless maybe it doesn't sell crazy, I don't know. But, like, on Posh, like, I cannot sell much. And I feel like I hear that from a lot of people. Yeah. And, like, it's really expensive retail. Oh, it is Katie. Okay, see, that's why I felt bad. Because I was like, what if it's just for Katie? Like Katie. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Katie. I'm so sorry, Katie. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I get so excited. See? Oh, uh, that brings me into an Instagram question that I got from somebody that was like, what was the brand that you used to be really excited about? And now you're like, go by. I mm -hmm. remember when, like, the Jill Queen and so many other of these, like, big resellers were like, this is Joa. And I was like, and then yeah, I and the find it. And so high. And it's so, so, so expensive. And I was like, oh my god, like, I thought it's $300 blouse. And I'm like, I literally can't sell this for, like, $30. Mm -hmm. So, grab that ass on Instagram. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Savannah says she can't sell Joie either. I don't think it sells anywhere, except maybe Tracy. Mm -hmm. Let's find that out. Good Let's to know. all cross-list all of it to Tracy. <sighs> We're flood the Tracy. Like like says, I love Joie, but it's hard to move. True. See, I mean, like, there are pieces really that are cute. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's and it's cute. like high quality materials. Mm -hmm. Their it's denim like, is really nice, shockingly. Yeah. They're so comfy. Jawa stays on the rack for me, says Jay. Jay, it really do. Okay. <sighs> what are some questions you got on Instagram? Yeah, we can move to Instagram ones, which you guys can keep asking questions also. Um, Our fangirling over Sorry, I'm not going to answer Nick's because Nick was mean to me on Instagram. <laughs> Unfortunately. Becky likes your shit. Target, $7.99. Love it. <laughs> Lucy tried to talk about for the first time and flipped out. Oh, That's, Lucy. I love oh that. Oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> Jack, are you still sending stuff to the real room? Yes. And actually, go. <laughs> it's about time for my real real update. I know I didn't do one last month, but we just like had videos going up. Ooh, we had a lot to um, do. I month. think. Tuesday, we're going to do a haul because, yes, we still have stuff to haul. Like I said, we have so much stuff to list. And then Thursday, I'm going to try to do a real, real update. Good. If y'all want to yeah. see that. I think this is so. Um, Somebody said, Fave place to resell retail arbitrage and max amount to spend. If I could read, that'd be great. Um, My favorite, favorite place would probably be TJ's. TJ's. Ooh, excuse me, TJ Maxx. I love, love, love TJ Maxx. And I think, especially all the ones in Minnesota, have a really, really good, like, you know, like, surprise element to them. Where, like, you know, you go through the mall, and you get the TJ's brands, and then you find, like, something really, really, really high-end, and it's, like, six bucks, mm -hmm. which is a blessing. Like, this... 
Okay, so like this last TJ Maxx clearance, like season, session, whatever, I found Faithful the brand. I found a skirt for like eight bucks. It's cheap. Um, yeah. Now they're starting to have some anthro sometimes. Mm -hmm. They have free people all the time. Um, yeah, they have a ton. You of can free find people. Athleta now. You yeah. can find Vineyard Vines. Yeah, some have well. Patagonia, Tory mm. Birch. We have a runway TJ Maxx. Mm. If you don't know what that is, please look up if your area has one oh because there so... are some. I bought my little Fendi. Yeah, I bought a Fendi piece at From runway TJ, TJ Maxx Max for 120 bucks. Yeah. It was insane. I love it. They can have Gucci. They have Longchamp. Mm -hmm. my, so check if you dresses. have a runway TJ Maxx near you. Some of the stuff is still expensive, but they have like a like they have like um what's it called Love Shack Fancy, which is like a rare. Expensive and it's brand. So, and it sells really well. And like it's still definitely really expensive at TJ's, but like when you compare it to like the five hundred dollars that Love Shack Fancy was asking for the sweater, mm -hmm. and then you get it for, you know, like two hundred bucks at TJ's, like it's still a really good deal. But like ooh. Someone said they love expensive. to see a video of us shopping and see what you look at but decide not to. That's interesting. I have heard that a ton of people whenever they do the like shop with me videos, like I think Mogi mentioned this yeah, in her recent videos. Recently. Yeah, and she's like, people like to see what I pass on. That's interesting. Interesting. We Maybe we should do that. that yeah. We should. We won't be back in Minnesota together for like two weeks. I gotta go home and get my well, teeth looked at. <laughs> either next weekend or like two, three weeks away. I don't know. We don't know yet. Um, Runway's the bomb. That is very true. Oh, I love TJ Maxx. <laughs> Becky Hello, says man. my TJ Maxx is hot garbage. Becky. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come to Minnesota. We have amazing Um, here. Does anyone know the difference between TJ Maxx and Marshalls? Same parent company. So, um... You know, I... Are there Marshalls runways? No. Like, is that a thing? Is Marshall... Oh, so my thought is, like, TJ's is, like, a little mm. bit of, like, an older... Yeah, I was gonna demographic say... Demographic, mainly. Like, they definitely mm, still have, like, TV Marshalls? I feel like Marshalls usually have bigger men's sections and like smaller junior sections yeah and saying, bigger shoes i was gonna sections. say bigger junior sections smaller like career wear sections and then like you can tell we're just like guessing i we honestly really i have don't know no idea <laughs> if sorry. anyone knows that that's a really interesting Please question someone everybody. said home goods and sierra if you guys <gasps> have ever been to a sierra they're cool i had an emotional experience in sierra so i Sold my chacos, and if you know me, I love sandals because I hate wearing shoes. Me too. And they were the ones that had the little toe strap that like went over your toes. But my feet swell when I walk because I'm 150. So when I'm out all day at the bins, my feet look it's awful. So I needed to get a pair that had the just regular like toe band, and I found them for like forty dollars on clearance at Sierra, and they were like 150 dollars sandals. I was so 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 excited. I think it's very popular because I've been on sale. I'm trying to see if there's a list of the runway stores. Okay. Um, the other... runway stores are currently closed, their websites. Um, That's not true. debatable because We've the one we go to is still open. Yeah. Okay, wait. Here's a list of the runway ones. Alabama has one. Arizona does. Arizona has two. Oh, they bougie. California has like 20 or Did something. Did we go to a runway TJ's in New York Phoenix? Colorado has one in Littleton. Oh, that's more Renee. Connecticut. That's where Renee's from. Sorry. <laughs> Connecticut has one. Washington D.C. has two. Florida has once again like a ton of them. Disney. Georgia also has like four. Hawaii has one. Illinois has oh, like Hawaii six. Massachusetts yeah. has like like eight. I think Boston. Michigan has like mm -hmm. six. Minnesota has one, which is the one that we've been to. Woo. Missouri has one. Fucking North Carolina hell. has two. Nevada has one. New Jersey has a lot. I feel like there'd be a lot in New Jersey. New York probably has a lot. Yep, they have a ton. a ton. Ohio has three. Pennsylvania has four. Rhode Island one. South Carolina one. Tennessee one. Texas numerous. I don't know why. Virginia has four. Lovely. So, um, Pasha Pet said, where is Sierra? So, it's like Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ's, and then Sierra. Sierra's like outdoor stuff. So, they have like Sierra's like North Face, Patagonia, Soybu, 
Barbar, Chaco, Sorrel. It's like REI meets TJ Maxx. Very accurate. It's pretty cool. Um, another question on my Instagram. How many items do you list per week? And do you photograph lists daily or on a certain day? I have no real idea how many items I list per week. It's really just kind of like how many things I was able to source prior to that. Um, you know, if I have an Ikea bag from a lousy bins trip, then that's my like week of like listing, inventory, and photographing, and, you know, whatever. But if I get like, you know, we hit two really good TJ's clearances, I spent $900 and got 550 things, then it's you know, just kind of how she goes. Um... Aaron said, I miss you guys. I miss you too, Nifty, Nifty Thrifty, Thrifty Mommy. Mommy. We miss you and love you. <sighs> um, someone me. asked, what percentage of your sourcing comes from the bins versus regular stores versus online? There's other That's places. A good question. <laughs> Ooh, oh my gosh. gosh. There, so I was I actually like... going to put up a question on my story this week, last week, and just ask people to count out how many different stores they have ever sourced from to resell like directly you bought it to resell because like i have so many like there we you know definitely like online how anything out online the big, there's the big, like nordstrom the rack story. ebay mercari posh um thread up thread up uh real real oh what's that um, um that the next door app yeah, marketplace. You no, know, if that's available in your in person, community. there's like your TJ Maxx. Yeah. We've sourced at Ragstock. So Ragstock, if you don't know, <laughs> and you're not from the Midwest, it's this like funky little kind of like dirty hippie store. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, it was started in Iowa City, and it's all like recycled, vintage, like you know, kind of curated to look a little dingy. Um, and what did I find? I found a Lululemon jacket there in the athletic wear. And you I found, found a Duotag athletic sweater. And the like sweatshirt. I found a Christian Dior sweater. Oh, yeah. What is the thing Ooh. that I just found? Last time we went. Oh, I found some weird dress brand called like Pinko. Pico. Or Pico. Not Pico de Gallo, just Pico. And that's like a real, real brand at a drag stock because they call it like recycled. It's like recycled vintage. Clothing. Like, you buy yeah. it pellets, sis. Um, yeah, but like Marshall's, Sierra, like TJ Maxx. In person, there's a ton, like Nordstrom Rack, oh, Saks Off Fifth. And then online, I said there's a bunch. Oh, and then like thrift stores, there's like Salvation Savers. We have one called like Ark. Ark um, the Ark Value Village. And then like those little like church thrift stores. Yes. That are it's just like specific. the amount of places we source is insane. So like Becky says, I haven't been to a ride stock in years. Becky, you should try it. They're fun. <laughs> They're really fun. So, but what percentage comes from the bins? We'll just say bins versus anything else. Uh, bins versus store physical online. So pre Janine nineteen, a good majority. We were getting good, getting close to a point where like nearly was everything we everything. had was yeah. from the bins. Like, we'd but go to like, a few Goodwills, we'd like hang out with friends, or, like if we were just bored. Yeah. Now I would say it's maybe 50-50. And it's probably going to just keep getting less bins because like... The bins in Minnesota well, really did like the absolute most with like caution. And it's like, you know, I'm definitely not saying like, don't be cautious because like you 100% should. But I think that... It's very strict. It's, and it's really... <clears throat> Like, not very well set up. So it's like, when you walk in, if there's people, if it's full, then you have to wait for a cart, and you have to wait for people to get out of line, check out, and then come back. Um, but if not, it's set up in this, like, double S shape, and it's not that many bins compared to what it used to. It's, like, a literal fourth. Um, there's six feet apart in rows of five going down, like, the long way, and you just start at one end, and you just sneak around, and you can't go back, and you can't go sideways. So if you're... Like, and, like, if there's somebody at the bin, then you just, like, have to go to the next available one, which, like, you know, could be at the end of the line. It's really, like, mm, not set up very well. Nick said he likes the bins better. You're not, don't sleep on my couch. Get out of my house. You're not welcome in this home. <laughs> I'm um, the one benefit of how it is, is, like, you, you get, get a bin to yourself, and you get as much time as you want. That was it. the other one, is that you get one to My one good light would just be, like, the less amount of bins in general yeah, and the less annoying. the less switch outs and 
Honestly, I have so many rants. Honestly, I must the do worst. With <laughs> yes, the worst part is the people that break the rules. People rule. don't pay attention, and it's aggravating. It's like, so annoying. They will just stand at a bin on their phone, not looking <sighs> at the clothes, and just it's like not let you come to the bin. I legitimately fear you guys can't relate to this. So we're gonna get off of this topic <laughs> because it's just how the bin is. It's just really it. people being rude, and it really irritates um, me. Housewives. I'm gonna sit for garbage today. Exactly, Becky. <laughs> um, I found girlfriend jeans that most about thirty six dollars. Can't really. That's a I've good deal. To, I have yet to find girlfriend jeans. Um, no bins open in Massachusetts. No bins never wheelchair cars. That's really funky. People that have to go to store. I hate when like just. I get if you need to be like, you know, quick check like a grocery list or like, you know, make sure like this ingredient's part of your like recipe you're making for dinner. But like put the phone away and move on. Coming from me and the phone is glued to my hand 24 seven. But I'm able to like not pay attention for, you know, whatever. Fun fact, mind. fun fact, when Mike is thirsty, he jumps in the tub. Because he thinks there's like water residual, <laughs> so I just heard him he jump in the tub. Oh, so God. let me get him some more water. He to lick the water out of the closet. It's really cute. Okay, um, another question from Instagram. This is from Nick. Mm. He said, "Why can't you use the right there?" He's so mean to me, everybody. All he does is just insult me. I'm kidding. Um, somebody asked me nothing. So there's my response to that. Thank you. Um, somebody said, AZ Thrift Soul said, when you go start saying how long do you shop before calling it quits? Hello from AZ. Hello from Iowa. Um, <laughs> and then, so it's funny, he jumps in the tub and like licks the faucet thing and then he like does his very best to like trip you as you try to get him more water. So like I was just looking at, he literally was like walking in between Jack's two legs for him to get water. Anyway, um, we don't really have any kind of set schedule whenever we go sourcing. We usually just kind of, like, you know, whenever we wake up, we get coffee most of the time, and then we go out. Um, if we're not doing good at one store, there's, especially in the greater Twin Cities, there's so many other stores that we know and that, you know, do really good. He's literally standing on his back legs asking for water. That would make sense. <laughs> um, there's a ton of other little honey holes that we have in the cities that we can go to. It's just kind of, like, Whenever usually like Jack's parents get home because we you know stay with them when we go up there, or when we're just like I'm getting hungry, like let's go get lunch. It's kind of just like we really don't have like a set schedule. It's just kind of like whenever we feel like it. It's great. Um, when are you getting Micah's siblings? His posh heads. <laughs> Fun fact: Mike is getting a little brother whenever we move into a house or something that is more permanent. In an apartment or his parents' house. Um, preferably, we're getting out of the pod because uh, and it will be Samuel. I would love to. The, I think it'll be the issue is, is like, we'll have to move into my parents' house for a year. Because I have to student teach in the cities. And I really don't feel like trying to pay Twin Cities rent. <laughs> I'm trying to get a teaching degree. <laughs> and their, like, their pug is not like the most welcoming to Misty other dogs. Is like, imagine the witch from Hansel and Gretel that tries to, like, you know, push kids in the oven. That's Misty. That's her. She's. Um, and then room. after that, we're going to have our wedding and then buy Save a house. house. <laughs> so then we will get one. Yeah. <gasps> Hi, Leslie. Leslie. Hello, Leslie. Yeah. How are How you? How are you, uh, Leslie? Nice to see you. <laughs> Even though I can't see you. No, I can't see you. I know what you look like. <laughs> Okay, um, let me do some of my questions. The Goodwill Blue Boxes. Okay, I'm interested in those. So, like, what is it? It's my first question. But also, is, like, do they do, like, is it, cut, like, can you curate, like, like, a retail tier? Kind of like B&G? Or is it just kind of, like, you pay for, like, a box and they just kind of, like, send you, like, categories? Did you see what they he did. Um, <laughs> Becky, no. Thank the well, Lord. Read the questions. Okay, so Becky, said, can see. so Becky said, Ryan, are you still teaching this year during COVID? Um, no. Thank the Lord. So what had happened is, is that I took an easy semester in the spring and had to push my student teaching back a semester. So instead of student teaching um, 
in the spring of next school year. I will start teaching the fall of the school year after that. So a year from like August, which honestly, like, I'm not mad because they had to cancel placements this semester in the fall, which oh, that's really not good. Um, and luckily, I don't have to go back into the classroom until the spring. So fingers crossed that I will be able to do that and do my level threes and then start to the fall. So S A O Z Thrift asked, "Do you have a goal profit amount per item, like ten or fifteen, etc.?" Thanks. Um, so like some people shoot to like at least double their money or like at least triple. That's but, like, like honestly, scenario. yeah, honestly, to me, that's like low. My goals would be, um, like at least. Four or five times my money. I'm trying to think of the benefits, and she's like, "Well, so it's 15 like okay, times our money. <laughs> So I'm I'm willing to like pay six bucks for Anthro and have it sell for thirty. Because that's five so times like, your money. Yeah. So like, or but then I'm I make twenty four. Like twenty four. Like, I guess like I shoot for like three and a half to four times my money at the lowest. Mm -hmm. But like you know, if you find something in the bins, I'm not gonna oh sell it. Gosh, for, I'm not gonna sell it for like a dollar. No, if I to double my money, like I would. At, Price it accordingly, so it's like you know I. At the bins, I basically just get stuff that I would like consider in the thrift store or like get for sure. Exactly, like, especially because it's not that. Much, unless like, it's a consignment, it's so unless it's a consignment yeah. item, obviously. Thing but like for my own closet, it's stuff mm -hmm. that if I saw it in the thrift store, I would at least like possibly buy. Yeah. So like I like to. And I think yeah. like brands that you're not like super sure of, like if you haven't tried them before, or like you know if a style is a little iffy, I really think the bins is a great way to do that. Just because like you don't need to have that like big like investment in it. So like you know if you find like a luxury brand that you saw Nicole say talk about, she sold for two hundred dollars, but you're kind of iffy on it. Look for it in the bins, pay by the pound, and see how it does. I and mean, if it does really like, well, it yeah, and you find it in like a good road, like a thrift store, or like if it's something you think you're going to pay up for, then like, go for it. Oh, Ladybird says she's going to go. Thank you for joining oh, us. Oh, Ladybird, Lady Bird. thank you for stopping by. And she I says, hope love you, have a nice Becky. So. <laughs> she loves you too, Becky. Ooh. But we love you, Ladybird. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, girly. Uh, Becky, what's your school district doing with all this like COVID nonsense? For the, it's not nonsense, to be yeah, taken seriously. Not, but like, are you doing a hybrid model, or are you doing like a lot of places don't know? But no one like the Catholic schools, Minnesota said they are going back full force. Yeah, but the other schools, but the public are still schools like haven't announced testing. what they're doing. Um, someone asked if we have VAs. No, I have my sister help me share my classes sometimes. Sometimes, yeah, but no, Brenda. I have enough free time. But I just spend my free time like yeah. listing or sharing. Like that's just yeah. not that. But I will definitely say I have had this question before, and when I tell people, especially if you're like a mom or like you know if you have friends, just tell your friends. I do this all the time. Where like oh you know I'll have a friend of mine share my closet a few times a day, or I'll have my sister do it, and then I just give her things from the thrift store. I know she would wear. So it's like I pay you. I don't actually have to pay you. <laughs> it's great. Right. Um, someone asked what Revolve brands don't sell for you. Um. Low key, lovers and friends doesn't do that. Oh good. yeah, they have no lovers and friends. That's horrible. horrible. Um, I feel like it can if it's like on season and like in, you know, like really, like really trendy. But I feel like most of the time when I find it, it's a little bit older and it's not that cute or it's kind of out of date and the model picture is really old. And it, you know, but I feel like that one, like even if um, I found it new, it really would. I definitely, like, don't get things just because it's Revolve. It's just, like, Revolve is kind of, like, an added perk. If you yeah, find something. like, you get a good but, model picture, but it doesn't really, like, yeah, do Because like, it's, like, you can't list it as Revolve. There's a lot of Sanctuary that's sold at Revolve, but mm -hmm. I skip, like, 90% of Sanctuary. Yeah. If because, it was an Anthro, I might pick it up. Yeah, but besides that, no. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, Our no. first spam of the night. A bully. Whatever will we do? <laughs> ah. Thank you to this person. It's me now. Thank you. Oh, my God. There was so There we go. Okay. So, next. Pets, give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> um... 
for both of you, Housewife Thrift asks, what is the one clothing brand that de best defines your style? Magnolia Pearl. I'm absolutely kidding. <laughs> Magnolia <like> Pearl. <laughs> so if you know, we did, we do those like funny little satirical who wears his videos. Mm -hmm. We did a brand called Magnolia Pearl. Becky's favorite videos. <laughs> we did a brand called Magnolia Pearl and it's definitely like a woman coming from wealth who likes to play with doilies and linens and leathers and bed sheets. and dust and like cobwebs and she turned it into a clothing and I think it is hysterical because the pieces are like astronomically expensive and they're ugly like they are just legitimately like hideous yeah and literally like they're they look dirty they look ripped they look like and just it's thrown together, and it's but like that's not, supposed like, to be what makes them like mm, quirky. And it's not like lag and look cute, where it's like it's baggy, but it's cute, or like free people over. There's like there's holes in it, but it's cute. It literally is just like if I saw this woman walking down the street, I'd be like, "Do you need a place to sleep tonight?" It's like someone like, from the eighteen hundreds fell down like a hill. It's definitely. Like, <gasps> do you know what it is? It's definitely like like Laura Ingalls Wilder. She's running down the hill in that opening scene of like Little House on the Prairie, and she just like. <laughs> She just says trip and just face plants. But like she falls and then through Magnolia like thorn Pearl. bushes and stuff. Ah! Like. And then Magnolia Pearl's running behind her going, that's my 2019 collection. Anyway. <laughs> she um, says, give me your dress. She goes, I need it. Um, the brand that probably oh, most just describes me the flax. I hate flax. Okay, but like, see that's what I'm everyone talking about. For like, like a hot, minute, but it's cute. For like, a hot it, like, minute, minute good, everyone though. was like, get flax. I bought it once. Garbage. I think it, it did terribly. It was awful. People laughed at me. Just yeah. I think it's. Pro I think flax was like an eBay moment. I definitely remember like yeah, it could out be. and like Denali being like flax. I was like, I can see that on eBay. Um, the brand that most describes my style. Oh, I didn't even answer. I, now we're like sidetracked to Magnolia Pearl. Um. Oh, what is it? It's it's kind of free people, but like, but like no, no, because you're just like graphic too. Um, You're kind of urban outfitters. It's definitely We should pick our own, then we should pick what we think the other person is. Oh, okay. So let's do this. This will be fun. I know what yours is. Um. Oh my god, what's mine? I literally just wear like t shirts and shorts every day. Mine like used to be Adidas Originals, obviously, but like I like straight. Oh, okay. I think I have a pretty decent comparison of mine. Um. <laughs> I never got the Louis. This is such a difficult yeah. question. Don't ask me. Jay Highland. I'm proud of you. Um, my hair's doing all kinds. What of do clothes. you think mine is? I was gonna say yours is um, the Adidas collab that you wore to Posh Fest. I do not okay, remember. Adidas. I do not remember how to say that design. Someone said mine's Moschino. I'd say mine's Moschino. Yeah. Because it's like a lot of graphics. I could see yours as being like, like minus that I wear it all the time. You know. I wear like a lot of graphics. But also like I like to wear kinda like or like pictures it's and stuff. I like to wear like, like I like to wear you like, know, like out there kind of looks things. like my free people jeans. Yeah. If Moschino made those jeans, like it wouldn't be surprising. No. It or like my surprising. Levi's jacket. If Moschino made that, no one would be shocked. Like mine's pretty No, Moschino. they definitely wouldn't. I would pick yours. If I own those flag pants, I would wear them every day. Aren't they so cute? I will wear them not just on the fourth. Like I love those. They're so comfortable. I can't get over it. Somebody said Ryan is a Hawaiian beach dweller with style. You're just big dog like beach shirts. <laughs> That's funny you should say that. Because when I was a child, my dad like recorded everything. Like every vacation we went on, every whatever. He was like, Ryan, hi. Um, and there's one scene where I'm like, oh, I think I'm like four, like four or five, like preschool. And we're in the Caribbean on a Disney vacation. And my dad goes, Ryan, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I just want to go, I want to be homeless on the beach. That's what he said. <laughs> uh, no, I was going to say my style is definitely like the costume designers day off who designs for um, that 70s show. We're like, she has some of the pieces from the set. It says, what brand? Oh, that's the brand. your style. Um, like, yeah, maybe, like, mm -hmm. what description, but what brand? A brand. I wear so many different. You're very urban outfitters. Yeah. 
Yeah. I hate to say it. But I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna kind of have to eat that in the drug rush. Because you I have, have like graphic rock. tees. You have clothes that look vintage. Well, yours are, but like See, at Urban, they look things. vintage. <laughs> I'm trying you to like, wear look at my up sometimes that look a little like obscure. You wear like yeah, on trend things that aren't like expensive. Is you. Yeah, I would definitely say Champion. Lazy Oaf. Lazy Oaf. Everyone I keeps saying Golden Lazy Goose. Oaf. I do have a pair of Golden Goose oh, sneakers. Oh, well, they're saying Golden Goose because you like yeah. things that are expensive <gasps> that don't look expensive. Okay, so wow, you guys you, know him so If you so know well. me in person, you know, and I would probably say this to you, um, my style is things that look expensive, that are expensive, but that look garbage. Perfect. Is that, is that a brand? Can we Google that? Can we make sure that's not like a Kohl's line somewhere? <laughs> Things that are expensive simply that look rare. garbage. <gasps> okay. Um, what's your favorite Taco Bell item? Hands, hands down. The shredded chicken shredded burrito. Shredded chicken burrito. With the avocado ranch. I will it. preach Ooh, that until the day I die. If you guys have not oh tried the shredded chicken God, burrito, please do. They're, like, they're kind of expensive. They're like also, two or something. But please, like, let's create a petition to bring back the Apple caramel empanada. <laughs> Apple empanada. The oh second God. best item on the menu that was completely be gone. Like it's gone. I remember and we, it's so sad. we used to go to the Taco Bell when Jack lived in Ames, which is a different city in Iowa. It's called the college town. And the woman that worked at the Taco Bell was named Summer. She was so sweet. She knew us every time. She gave us Christmas cards. She did. The woman at Ta I still have them. The woman at Taco Bell. We were Bell. such Taco Bell. Gave us like buyers. She gave us a Valentine's Day card. She gives a Christmas card. We got Easter card, and it just says summer. It's just like the dollar store taco like card. And just That's summer. very nice, adorable. Um, and I remember Jack was like, "Can I get an apple and banana?" And she like leaned out the window and was like, "I'm sorry, I can't get those." Like as sincere as she could possibly make it. It was so 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 funny. I fossilized. Um. Oh, this um, is fun. I gotta go to the next. Sparkling Hanger asks, how long did it take you to grow your Instagram following and do you have any tips? So, like, I get this one quite often and this is, like, the hardest question to answer. Really, there's a lot of It's animals, almost actually. like asking, how do you build a YouTube? I don't even know. <laughs> like, it's, it's hard. So it really isn't, like, YouTube. Both of them, it is, like, consistency if anything consistency 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 even if make you sure don't you smile in your pictures <laughs> even if you don't have viewers if you don't have people liking just like be consistent post on youtube if you're gonna post do it like every twice a week on the same days every single week it kind of just gets you into this like algorithm which i hate that word but, like, it gets you into an algorithm that, like, YouTube really likes, apparently. And they, like, can push you more because of that. Um, on Instagram, a big tip would be to be in your pictures to give your Instagram, like, a personality and, like, a person to be connected to. Also, post a lot of your, like, good finds. And... You find some bougie. You just take a picture of it right there. Yes. Post it. Yes. Um, I will definitely say hashtags. I use hashtags. Really didn't think that they were like super popular or like super did anything, <clears throat> but the more that I use them, it definitely like opens something up. Like opens a post up to like a ton of different. Yeah. Um, no, sorry, to interrupt. My bad. <laughs> um. Also, like, don't copy people, but jump on to the like trends take that people do, like. Package pictures. Do those. Mm -hmm. um, what else did people do? When everybody was finding Rafi's. Well, do that. yeah, but that counts as, like, a good find. Um, but, um, like, if there's, Just like, whatever, like, if people are, if, like, in a week, kind of every big creator is doing the same thing. Like, big creator. That sounds weird. Yeah. Ugh, it's it's just know, we post funky. pictures. But, like, if people are posting the same idea... Do that. Mm -hmm. Like, don't copy people. Don't copy you know, captions. Don't copy content. Don't you know, don't like beg people to like shout you out or something. Oh, that it, can be that, weird. It, 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 it just doesn't look good. Like no. it definitely because then like you know if somebody is like hey Ryan like I really like you whenever blah 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 like 
And then it's just like, but can I get a shout out? And then somebody comes and asks me, and I'm like, what do you think of this person? I'm like, oh, you know, it's just kind of like, it doesn't bode well. Like, I think, especially anything with social media, it's weird to me. And like, you it need, is. That's you it need to show people that like, you're an individual <clears throat> and you're you. I think that's why a lot of people, I'm not going to say resonate, but like, like my Instagram, like mine's small compared to Jack's, but it's because like, which still isn't even like, even our YouTube channel. You're not Kylie Jenner. Even our exactly. YouTube channel, it's not like that. Exactly. Like, but it's like, you know, people, like, in a post, I try to, like, post pictures of me in them or, like, you know, something that I would, like, say in person and just kind of, like, translate that into a caption or, like, make it something that's in, like, my real house. Yeah. And I think, like, it gets to be a little, like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When you're like, hey, you know, so and so, I'm using my packages, and you know, I say, well, like, and like, like, don't be like a follower. Yeah. Well, no. Well, and like, I don't know. Like, when don't you do it, it, when you do it, don't like have the goal in mind to like become a big like account. Exactly. That is not how you get there. Like, genuinely talk to people, like build relationships with people, like whatever. Like. I can think of like Leslie <gasps> and Risa Renee Are and Renee. Me? Um, I don't remember Renee's last name, but like you know, Renee, she got black hair, she got a dog, <laughs> Poshmark husband, Hoda, Renee. Renee. Both of them, like they are, so, they are friendly to every single person. They like that's another. Thing. They will welcome Be anyone. Nice. They will talk to anyone. They will have lengthy conversations with, them, with anyone. And like just that nice has shown, people. they've like grown big accounts because exactly. they're just genuine. Like. They're really nice, open Hoda. people. They're good people. Hoda and has built a huge account. <laughs> okay, if somebody somebody get on this, somebody send Renee's people a memo. Hoda needs to have her on Instagram. Side note. <laughs> um, but no, oh my, my gosh, Kimberly, I would love for you to come to our wedding. Oh, I wish I could invite you. Follow you might come. You might. We'll just, we'll just like post that. Just like show Can up. Can we please know. do like uh, like a Zoom wedding? But no. it'll be like there'll be like an in person part, and then it'll be like if you want to come. Send me a Plus dollar and I'll pets. send you the Zoom. I'm doomed, then. I don't like people. Plus with pets, you don't have to like people. People have to like you. That's <laughs> but my big, 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 big takeaway, especially talking about people like Leslie May, it's just like be nice. Like you know, don't like be secretive. Like don't no. be rude and don't like if you're people just ask trying you to build an Instagram. That is like that's not good. That's kind of shy. That's bad. Like, like I. I don't ignore DMs from anybody, and no one should. No one should just be like, I don't have enough time. And like, no. You 100%. No, no, no. no. That is not. Um, My big thing is to like, don't, kind of like what Jack was saying, like, don't act like you're just trying to get followers. followers. That's correct. Because then you're fake. And people will. Like, you know, people aren't people like, not, they can like, read comments. That, yeah. And my big thing is like bigger accounts that like will ask questions in the post and then they mm. don't answer any of them. Becky says she'll wrap up at her wedding. <gasps> Literally Becky, Becky, please. There's your invite. You're coming. Becky, also if you're getting you can an invite. Provide me so a like, talent, you're coming to the wedding. Well also Becky. Period. Is and it's Becky. So Nick is not away. coming though. Nick unfortunately. is. I'm gonna tell my dad, my little five foot nine father. Be like this one. I'm just gonna Ty, invite that just no. says, "Do not RSVP. You are not invited." By the way, <laughs> we will not tell you the address. <laughs> we'll tell whoever you, tells you the address. We'll tell you when they it will is, not be and invited then I'll either. be like, if you show up, I'm gonna kick you. Have fun. As he was saying something nice <gasps> oh about God. it. So can we please put like the, but if you want to get us a gift, here's our registry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Nick, you didn't okay. Uh, Next question. Um, oh, wait, hold on. Here's oh, one. wait. You'll like this one. And Dresden, I, when is the last time? Oh, she's still here. She's okay, never still mind. Here. She's right here. Okay. I'm really oh, on Instagram awesome. to meet new people. I'm starting to build some different exactly. exactly. Okay, exactly. Did I tell you why? But also, Dresden's question. <laughs> What is Ryan's Starbucks order? I remember it sounds delicious. Also, asterisks is very complicated. Get your pen and paper, everybody. Are you ready to go? So, okay. So recently I've been getting, um, I get a matcha, a lemonade matcha with four pumps of raspberry. Delicious. Super easy. But my, like, iconic Starbucks order is... The one he's known for. (laughs) 
And this isn't, I fully take no credit for this. My best friend, Lauren. Oh, Dresden has a bunch of questions. Thank you, Ooh, Dresden, Dresden, for all the questions. My best friend, Lauren, used to work at Starbucks and was like, try this. It's delicious. And he was like, crack. I was like, this is, I literally took it from her. I was like, this is mine. Go get another one right there. Um, and it's the only thing I get. So I get a Trenta. Sometimes I get a venti if I'm feeling you know, a little frugal. I get a Trenta. Half the very, very tea base. Are you writing it down? Half there are half berry berry, half strawberry acai tea base, light ice, no water, no berry inclusions, no strawberries. And that's it. It's just two tea it is, bases. It sounds complicated, but it's not. It legitimately is like the Declaration of Independence as a Starbucks order to get half a cup of one juice, a little bit of the oh other, and a little gosh. bit of ice. <laughs> okay, so Nick said when Jack, Ryan, Haley, and I roll up to Starbucks, baristas all hide. Very true. Sleep. Because mine is a Trentacle okay, but like brew. Yours is hard, too. Like, everybody gives me crap. This is my Starbucks. Order. Mine is a Trentacle mm. brew with now I've altered it. It's regular almond milk because almond milk is now free. It used to cost extra, but I love almond milk. It's good for you, too. Um, with regular almond milk, a light dash of half and half, four packets of Splenda, seven pumps of the sugar-free vanilla sauce, no regular sauce, seven. light ice, and I think that's it. That's all. Just no, that's, that's so Vera simple. Like, that's my it. husband would hate you. I, I'm you sorry, know, Vera. I'm really sorry, but God, it's good. Mine's literally black coffee. Also, oh my gosh, if you have a husband that works at a Starbucks, I would love if Ryan worked at Starbucks. He could like prepare anything. Are you kidding me? In it'd 10 seconds. It'd be amazing. We'll try tomorrow. I should like post that somewhere. <laughs> Maggie said mine's black coffee. Okay, I always remember when I was a kid and we would always go to church and after church you get a donut and it's not even like a Lutheran thing. You get a donut and a cup of coffee and just like chit chat. And I remember the coffee was always like tar black coffee. And it was nasty. And when you're like a little kid, you're like, Dad, what is it? I'm like, Mom, give me some of your coffee. And then like, you try it. And then it's like, what? It's nasty. Oh, it's See, disgusting. I think that Starbucks, like, and baristas are so used to like, this, 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 this. <laughs> or it's like mine that are like seats long. One time I went with my dad and he was like, can I just have some of the dark roast? And they were like, and? And he, and was, he like, was like, that's it. And they're like, okay. <laughs> they're like, Really? He was like, I don't even know how to type this in. Old people what? juice, don't know sugar and cream or the world that tastes good. Sarah, thank you. And like my dad and my like at the time like 70 something grandma would just like shots of like those little Dixie cups of black coffee and they'd love to get more. See, yeah. Stephanie says mine's ice white mocha latte. Okay, see, so like I totally would buy a bunch of different things that are on the menu, but like first off, they're expensive. I don't want anything. Second else. off, I want my tea. I don't drink coffee. Second off, I hate coffee. just sugar. And like, you guys might not know this about me, but I'm like so health conscious. I, I eat like <laughs> no saturated fat or sugar, and so like I alter the crap out of my Starbucks because I, I do not want it to just be like sugar. I don't like coffee. Like I know I look like a coffee person. I look like a tea. I look, you like, look like a tea, I look like a tea person. <laughs> but I like I don't like coffee. I think it's gross. You know, and it's like you know, definitely yes. Dresden, except for Taco Bell and Canes. Yes, Taco Bell and Canes. You know, we all you have actually glasses. nailed it on the head. Are like my oh one stray because like From otherwise, like no. The cheese that I put on my Taco Bell is fat free cheese. He just if you want to know that. Taco I yeah, can't. I will definitely say I try to be health conscious, but I also ate three bowls of cup crunch berries. Lie. <laughs> no, okay, so I definitely like if it's really bad, I'm not gonna eat it. Like one time, I bought a whole thing of frosting, so I was like, I'm gonna eat it, but it was really bad. So I didn't. Um, but like, oh, you no, know, sometimes <clears throat> you just gotta hang in for three bowls of cereal. Okay, should we keep with Dresden's questions? He has yes. a lot of good ones. Okay, what's it's your like a book series? Let's hear. Let's rapid fire them because they're actually not that like. Depth. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite section in Ikea? Mine is probably the end where there's plants everywhere. Mine's the meatball section. <laughs> the staircase that has all the snacks on it. Anyway. Um, what TV shows food. are you guys watching? My favorite show of all time that probably like 
one percent of you have watched, and we just keep watching it nonstop. Is Portlandia with Fred Armisen, Carrie Brownstein? If you haven't it's so, so, so seen funny. Portlandia, it's, it's the funniest show it's so ever. Funny. It's so funny. Oh my gosh! I like cry laughing. No matter what episode, they definitely no matter how many skits, times I've seen it before, like some of those skits just really hit you differently. You just pee. Um. Okay. My favorite TV show. Yes, Barrow. Portlandia is hilarious. It's so funny. It would so definitely funny. have to be um, Chowder. I like, love Chowder. Hands down. I love Chowder. Um, but my favorite current TV show. Well, like we both love SpongeBob. If you can't tell. Oh, because like SpongeBob's just funny. Like, how can you not? We, not if it's not obvious, we like RuPaul's Drag Race. Like, right. Okay. If you can't tell by who we are. It's funny, doll. Um, we like. If you've ever seen the show, um, what is it? Two Girls in New York. <gasps> Broad City. Broad City. So, so, so love funny. Broad City. SNL, when it's <sighs> on, we love <gasps> SNL. My guilty pleasure show is Horrors. <laughs> I, so when I'm listening. 90 Day Fiance. Oh, God. That little, like, scared no neck man. With that beautiful little woman. Um, no, hoarders. It's so nice to watch when you're like listing and photographing. Because like, it makes you feel like less of a hoarder. No, okay, so that's literally it. So whenever I list and photograph, like things just like inherently like I turn into like the moon and things just orbit me, like <laughs> Earth. And so watching hoarders, I'm like, oh, so Veronica has a house full of garbage, literally, and I just have like a few shirts lying around. I'm, like, oh, I'm fine. <laughs> it definitely makes me feel much better about myself. <laughs> Brina said yes, they have full episodes of Hoarders on YouTube. Oh, I that's know. where he watches it. <gasps> I know. Vero. Okay, Vero, we <laughs> have the City. exact same taste in shows because we'll Broad, Vero, Broad, know, Broad City and Portlandia are my two favorite shows of all time. I also love like, she was an artist. I'm with so like an SNL, movie. maybe. So, oh, I love movie. SNL. Maybe. I'm but like Broad City and Portlandia are my favorite. Have you seen Animal Hoarders? I tried to watch Animal Hoarders. Animal tried, Hoarders? So it's like people, and like a lot of the time they're like breeders, is what they say. But oh. they just have like, or they're just like, like cats or whatever. And she has like 150 cats. And like none of them are taken care of for. Like, I don't know. They're all like just that. like really in not good situations. So I, I tried to watch Animal Hoarders because I was like, interesting. But it's really sad because they always have to end up like putting a ton of the animals down because they're all so sick. I would hate that. So I'm just so like, no, I have not I'll just I watch, you know, Brad and John go through their garbage in their house. Yeah, it no. makes me feel better about myself. Okay, Dresden also at, these are all Dresden. She really came way. in with the questions tonight. She asked, has <gasps> Ryan NDRs here? Hi, Nicole. <gasps> anyway, Hello, Nicole. hope you like your person. <laughs> she asked, has Ryan made any new art lately? No, because they're closed. <laughs> I haven't. So my little vein of art is printmaking. And unfortunately with printmaking, you need like bigger tools. So it's not like I'm a drawer, drawler, if anybody remembers that like my just get from SNL. And I can just kind of like sit room and do it. Like I need bigger pieces of machinery and lovely living in a two bedroom apartment. I don't have any space for that. But I am in contact with my professors because I am thinking I'm gonna make more of the uh, get a loser, we're going thrifting t-shirts soon. So I need to work that out with them to do that safely. But Sarah said yes, he did. Remember those Wrangler teal shorts he made? Sarah, my queen. I do love distress denim. Distressing denim. I remember that sounds um, I made bleached jeans. <laughs> so I've made art also. You know, it's tie-dye art. <clears throat> it's like petite. I'm going to show them. So people think. Are you going to show them your bleach jeans? Yes. If you can't tell, um, we've been tie-dyeing and bleaching things a lot lately. Okay, so... But also, who hasn't? So. Aaron Oslady really kicked off the tie-dye thing in the summer. It was really cool. Well, I feel like just the trend of the summer. Uh, what's it called? Um, <clears throat> oh, she's going to kill me. <laughs> um, sundrip. Her sundrip stuff. I love it. I have the face masks, I have a t-shirt, and I have a sweatshirt. Wow. Um, but I was like, I can do that. So I did. I love it. Um, how do you, okay, hold on. I really can't wait from right here, so we're going to have to get a little closer. Um, Tracy, that is super smart. And here's your...
Okay. Um, so somebody said, ever thought about buying liquidation to resell? Yes. And I feel like oh, I'm just really not interested in like investing that much and stuff. I may do kind of like what Savannah and Denali did where they bought like a pallet. But that's not going to be to like, I have a garage and a house and <laughs> expendable know. income. Yeah, I was going to say, like, that much money that I would feel comfortable that I wouldn't feel awful if it, if I didn't make that much money back. Or who was it? I think it was Anne. Anne and Denali in the recent, in, their, in the, yeah, in the most recent, not the, I don't know if it's the most recent, in Anne Eckhart's um, from the no, script interview. Yeah. Where Denali was like, somebody told me if you would feel comfortable losing that much money then go start into liquidation. I always feel like we find enough. And I'd rather I was like... say, and we find a ton since of I stuff like, sourcing anyway. Since I have the time and energy to put into like finding it myself. Exactly. Like, I just don't need work. to... But like, you know, obviously, Savannah's pregnant, I'll get out. So that's a good option for her. Aren't these cute? I know, I love these. I love how they turn kind of brown, too. So I bought these Levi's at a thrift store for... Like, like four, four bucks, bucks. You... because I wanted some bleach one. They're the cute. They are really good. Um, Kimberly says, "Have you tried the whipped coffee?" Yes, we did. <laughs> so we went home. We went to my parents' house during quarantine. Um, you know, everybody was safe. We social distance, whatever. And my sister was like, "Hey, have you seen this TikTok coffee?" And we're like, "Ew, what is this?" So we tried to make it, oh, no, and I we thought. It. I'd never seen it before. And we thought it was just like, you just drink it, like you eat it like it is. It was awful. It tasted so bitter. It I didn't, so I nasty. actually didn't mind it because I like harder coffee. Well, then we mixed it with the, what do you mix it with? Like the oh, coffee no. creamer, the almond milk, whatever. And it was really good. But like, we do not like the spoon. No, it was really good. Okay, next. Let's see. We still have more Dresden questions. Oh, okay. So she asked, do you guys plan to live in Minnesota forever? So yes. If y'all don't know, we do not live Legally. in Minnesota right now. Minnesota, My parents do, but we almost live there half the time. Anyway, we are so, a lot. Nick, so do you ever go to your apartment? <laughs> we kind of consider ourselves like, well, we consider ourselves like Minnesota resellers. Because that's where all of our But our are. home address is Iowa. Oh my gosh. Same person. Oh my god. Thank you so much for your input. I'm awesome. sorry. Maybe channel your energy into healthier <laughs> healthier avenues. Mm -hmm. um, Something. But we are going to move to Minnesota in about less than a year. I so <laughs> thank you, show. Sarah. Very true. Um, so we What's will that? live there in about Less than a year. And I then, student teach in August and the fall, and our lease, our apartment, ends in May. Posers. Posers. Um, so A1. we will move to Minnesota <laughs> next May. We will be there for a year in my parents' house mm -hmm. while Ryan's student teaching and stuff. Then we will get I'm married in teaching. spring of 2022. It's a 2020 something. I don't remember. 2022. So it's still a while away. So you can still get your invites. You can still bribe your way into a wedding. <laughs> Absolutely. Then, hopefully by like fall, we'll get a house. So we're gonna get a crew. A lot of stuff coming. I'm very, very, very excited. I just want to live in Minnesota. My daughter was in the Real Housewives of Atlanta five years ago. Kimberly. Kimberly. Can Do she tell? <laughs> can she please get me to meet the desperate housewife that threw her fake leg at everybody? What was her name? Um, I don't know. Oh, it's going to haunt me. Okay, so I got a question on the Instagram. <laughs> I'll figure that out later. Um, this is from Megan Philipsco. Uh, she said, highest profit ever made. What was the item? Um, oh, wow. I thought this would be like a fun little question, but now I'm like, my, what is it? <laughs> probably my Montclair. Um, I bought a Montclair jacket at a Sabres branch. It's a store oh. that Sabres owns, but it's not called Sabres. It was like a local Minnesota store that, that Sabres they bought. Like, bought out. Um, 
I think I know. For ten bucks. She was cheap. And I sold it in like two weeks or less for like six hundred dollars. Um, so that one. Okay. So that's also like probably my highest sale period. Oh, okay. So highest profit margin is what I'm gonna go off of. Um, I've sold a few pairs of Louboutins, but I paid up for those because they were very nice. But my highest profit was a pair of old gringo boots that I found in the bins, and I sold them for $250. They were beautiful. They went to a viewer, which I was, like, not shocked about, but I was, like, I'm glad that somebody that I, like, know is going to get them. Um, and I remember I, like, turned white. I remember the experience vividly. It was the same It was the same bin strip. I found a Gucci purse in the bins. And I remember mm -hmm. I picked one up, I looked at the heel, and just like, I turned the cast with a freaking friendly ghost. I turned white. And I looked at Jack, who was like down at the other end of the shoe bins, because it was just like mid change out. And I was like, find this other boot, like screaming at him. And luckily he found it for me. You're welcome. So, thank you. Didn't I find you a shoe? Like a I Zara. found you like a Steve Madden or something. Like a Zara. I was like, um, I literally remember I had like a coat, like a raincoat in and I wrapped them in the raincoat and like hit it in the back of my car. Cause I didn't want to take them. <laughs> that was very fun. Um, Dresden. So that was my highest Also profit. asked, how do you edit your videos to show screenshots? So I just use iMovie. This is a Jack question. Um, that's it. I use iMovie and I do picture in picture and I put screenshots <laughs> in there. Ooh, excuse me. That's my editing is not. I bought a Burberry depth. scarf for a dollar. Oh, okay. So I got burned. I found a Burberry scarf in the bins and it was with a ton of Angry Alice said I bought a Burberry scarf in the bins for a dollar. I bought it for a dollar, sold it for 125. I found a Burberry scarf in the bins with a bunch of like really old like luxury items. It was like vintage, St. John, you know, that kind of thing. I was like, oh, it's real. And I did do my research. And I sold it for like a hundred bucks. It was fake. And I just had it because I don't want to sell fake. So, I mean, did she just say you sold it for a hundred bucks? Yeah. And then she returned it. Oh. So she filed the claim with Posh. I was like, hey, I'm really sorry. Oh. But yeah, if any, <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. It's still, I was so upset about it because I felt so bad. Remember, it didn't feel like wool or something. I thought I said that. Yeah. It is still, so I sent it in a real, real dust bag. So it's like, um, it's still in the dust bag in the closet in the hallway because I refuse to pull it out. And look at it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Asia Dancer, who's <gasps> using the comments, but I have not seen her today. She was in there. Rude. No, I'm just kidding. Um, she bought the Tweety Bird tank top. That diversity, Ooh. okay, that diversity, like, peace sign tank or t shirt. How's from? So many of you wanted it was that. So cute, I'm though. so sorry, but Asia Dancer got that. She really said, "Don't attack her, please." <laughs> she got that, and then she bought Ryan's Budweiser T-shirt. We all, you know, I really think everybody could benefit from a good beer T-shirt. <laughs> um, you know, she had a very simple question. It's pineapple mm -hmm. pizza, yay or nay? Ew, no, nay. I think I've like at like Dresden Avenue. Love you. Don't you dare serve me pineapple no. pizza. No, Asia Dancer. Asia Dancer, excuse me. Ooh. Um, I think I've tried it on like a Hawaiian pizza and it was Just like, Mrs. okay. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say like I love it or would order it myself, but like I feel like I'm like the one person on earth that's like neutral. I hate fruit, which is my And vegetables. Stance. And vegetables. I'm not a very healthy person. So putting pineapples, a fruit, something I detest, Wow, oh, everyone's in I mm. This is not a safe space for me anymore. <laughs> I just don't like pineapple. And I hate the texture. I hate that they're like kind of fleshy, but like squishy. She said, but Jacqueline said, are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. Thank you very much. But I will definitely say I love pineapple flavor. I'm like Laura from Love and Junk. She's always like, I hate like blueberry or something, but I love blueberry flavor. Mm. Whereas I'm like the opposite. I usually like genuine like, fruits, yeah. and then the fake fruit flavor I don't like. Like watermelons, I love watermelon I is like my favorite. Fruit. Oh, I think <gasps> Speaking of love and junk, she's right there. Everybody, <gasps> give her a hand, it's Laura. Laura. Oh my god, hi girl. We just talked about you, Laura and John. 
I watch you guys all the time. If you don't subscribe to them, please do. They're please so subscribe funny. to Love and Drugs. They're the so right sweet. There. We literally, that's like our guilty pleasure. We watch them like all They're stuff. from Iowa. I love watching them. And they mention all these little things. From oh my gosh. It's adorable. Yeah, it's okay. very sweet. We watch them all the time. And they eat a lot, which, oh, we right, do too, and I love it. Well, they, they might they not cook, eat a lot, but their they videos cook a lot. Are, excuse me. Yeah. And it's amazing. Oh, my God, all the food they make looks so good. Anyway. Okay. Um, Laura, when are you going to make the Laura, Fonz mozzarella sticks? <laughs> Laura, please have I'm a waiting. live Taco Bell mukbang I want to watch. And I want to comment do, along. Can we do a collab? <laughs> Laura, like a Skype mukbang. Send me a DM. Let's work um, it out. A double like Taco Bell mukbang collab. That'd be so okay. fun. So Dresden, another question from Dresden, the queen. I know you say Google it, but how? Okay, wait, this is like, so she said when brands are sometimes oh. sold at Anthro, mm -hmm. how do you find out if a specific piece was? I know that you said Google it, but how? Um, so usually when I have like an inclination or I follow like backup knowledge of like, I've seen like this brand, like in an anthropology before, like in person or, you know, doing research, you find like a piece from this brand at Anthro. I usually will type in like the brand name anthropology and then like a very vague, like description of the item. So like I found a blue Amati romper recently it already sold. But if I was going to Google to make sure that it was an anthropology piece, I would look up like Amadi Anthropology Blue Rapper, Blue Short All, Blue whatever, just to kind of like vaguely kind of like give me a ton of like options. And then I could kind of like go in and see if it was one of those. Yeah. Okay. It's like you need to be specific, but not too specific. So it's like easy when it comes to like Sam Edelman, say, which yeah. Anthro sells. You can do like, all Sam Edelman's have the name on them. Oh, they have so the name. So it's the almost shooting. like finding a model picture, but take it even farther. You need to go a step Like, there. it's one mm -hmm. step more difficult or further. Yeah. So, like, say it's a Sam Edelman, like, Samantha. You look up, like, Sam Edelman, Samantha Anthropology. And if it doesn't show up, it's not there. If it does, it is. Or you could look up just, like, Sam Edelman, Samantha. And sometimes and it'll come up, like, the third, And the just fourth. kind of see, like, you know, if one of those, like, anthropology model pictures... Shows up. And then, if it is, and you need, like, better pictures, like a description or whatever, just, you know, type it in college. Same with Levi's. Because mm -hmm. Levi's, if you don't know, can be sold at Free People. I have quite a few. Um, you look up, Levi's. like, Levi's 710 Free People, and mm -hmm. you look through them all. Say it's, like, distressed. You can look up. You can add distress into the search. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely kind of, like, trying to find a needle on a haystack sometimes, especially with, like, Shoes like Sam Edelman or Steve Madden or Levi's, like you know, you think you find a pair and they're like, Oh, these are so free people. And then you Google them and they're just like, But you have Levi's. It's definitely like you kind of need to have like just the right um search keywords, whatever, and then you just need to come and like keep scrolling. Mm -hmm. Um, for stuff that doesn't have like a number or a style name, it gets a little Harder. That gets a little funky. Definitely. Like, say... Okay, one is, like, street level. The purses. Oh, anthropology. Used to they make, like, a million purses. They really do. And anthropology used to carry them. They anthropology don't, they don't has sold, like, 5% of those. Mm -hmm. So, it's just throwing in keyword, keyword, keyword. Like, you try yeah. like, Anthropology street level tassel zipper like hobo i remember um, i had one that had like loose like, like loose sight like circle handles so i looked up street level or i think i always do the brand before anthropology i mean you can because if it you doesn't in my experience if i google like anthropology street level da -da -da, it gives me every single anthropology street level like ever but if I Google, like, street-level anthropology, da, 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 it gives me more, like, this is, like, personal that experience. I don't know what's wrong is. with my Google. If that's not right, that's that not should correct. That should not be how it is. <laughs> well, anyway. You should be able to inter-switch those. Really? Um, yes. It's just, it's, like, throwing Ooh. in the right search words. And, like, yeah. I don't spend too much time doing it. Like, if I'm in the thrift store and I find, like, say, a street-level, I just try a few searches. If it doesn't yeah. come up, I give up. 
if I find it in the bins and I'm at home with it, I will try a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. But like, you don't want to spend all your time doing it. Like, a lot of the like brands that they collab with also make stuff otherwise, like Farmria, and like a lot of them, it's like a majority are not sold in Anthro yeah. or Free People. So. Exactly. Don't invest too much time. It's just kind of usually it pops up as one of the top, mm -hmm. especially if it's not like an anthro brand. It'll most likely come up like when we do if we find like a current air piece. Like they've made a few pieces for anthropology, but definitely not like a ton. So you can almost just look up anthropology current air, and you can see and you can just kind things. of see like you know the fifteen or twenty they've made, and then you know. Yeah. Hopefully that one of yours is one of those pieces. Oh, Nick. Nick says Nick, everyone you. give it a thumbs um, up. But I'd like to come back to you. There are only 148 you. people here. Not 150. 149. <gasps> oh, we might get up to 150. <laughs> I think we were. Oh, I chased somebody away. <laughs> yeah. My bang scared someone else. My up. bang chased somebody away. <laughs> and... Um... Oh, Tommy. I think this is the Tommy that usually comments. I don't think I've seen her here either today. She asked, would you ever considering combining closets? So when we moved in together, this was like a huge that was a discussion. Big de it wasn't a debate. But it was well, just like, no, should we, were we both, shouldn't we, you know. We were both like torn. What are the positives? What are the negatives? Um, we kind of decided we never would. Because no. they're very different vibes. I think was the kind of like what we sell them is like Jack picks up things, you know, that obviously kind of like somewhat overlap into mine, and like I pick things up that could somewhat overlap into Jack's. But it's definitely just like they're very two different styles. And I think if you put like all of that into one, A, it'd be a nightmare to like share and you know send an office to likers and that kind of thing. Cause you're talking like a thousand plus items. Easy. Way more. Exactly. Yeah. And I feel like it's just kind of like, you know, I think people come to my closet for a specific type of item and people come to Jack's closet for a specific kind of item. Well, and like that creates like a shared like decision of like, do we get this for the closet? And do we that not? is the big thing. That's like the biggest thing mm -hmm. is like, I want to be in charge of what I have in my closet. Mm -hmm. I want to be in charge of what price I put it at, what price I drop it to. Exactly. When I drop it, if I want to have a sale at this point, if I don't like, it would just cause, like, like Ryan's like, oh, we haven't had sales, let's have a sale. And I'm like, I don't think we should. And then it's just, like, debate. And, like, yeah, and it's also, like, I would pick up stuff that Jack wouldn't want to buy, and he would pick up stuff that I wouldn't want to buy. So it's definitely kind of, like, to keep them separate, yeah. I think, is a little bit more to just kind of, like, you know, keep, like, my business running how I would yes. like it to, and how Jack would like And it, my analogy it. kind of is, like, Say that we had like normal jobs. It's as if we both work at the same location, but we make our own income and we have our own like positions in the job. It's a little better. Exactly. I was making sure it wasn't like shiny oily. <laughs> yes. We it's like having our mm -hmm. own jobs, even if it's like the same thing. Yeah. Um, and Nicole said, I just go to Instagram to shop from you guys, you which is always an Nicole. option. If you guys want to email us yeah. or Instagram, you can shop from both of ours at the same time as if it is one closet. So. See, and, and we that, can combine think, shipping. That I think is nice is because then if it's like Instagram, you know, and this has happened pretty recently where people say like, I would like these three things from Jack's closet and I want these two from my ends. And whoever they DM is like, what would you take for these two pieces? So that I think is kind of like the best of both worlds because then. You know, obviously, you get to do. Jay said, in other words, you don't want to sell a lines for 20 minutes. True. I they were beat up. I would okay, not. Okay, I made a mistake. You I don't make not. mistakes. It's okay. No. <laughs> um, Looking to the future for my business, I will not sell a lines for $20. Mm. What, what's Scout's Honor? Is it two? Scout's I Honor. Marilyn is two. I'm telling you. Oh, okay. Courtney said, just like checking accounts when you're married. We have ours and I have mine. I think of doing that as well because Ryan's Absolutely. not good with his money. So. No, but I'm trusting that if I give my money to Jack, he'll be good with it. And then I can, you know, just be back with money because <laughs> it's in his control. So that was actually my last DM. So does anyone else have any questions? 
gifts for us. I don't believe I have any. Laura asks, how do you guys find such good stuff all the time? That is a good question. Um, I spend Lauren. too much time on Goodwill. I look through well, literally everything. And then, you know, prayer. Yeah, so like we said before, like we go everywhere all the time. All the time. Like... It's not just Goodwill. Goodwill. It's not just like Sabres, TJ Maxx, Best Marshalls, that's what they are. Um, Nordstrom, no, Rack, Vintage Rack Stores, stock, um, Retail We even say consignment stores. Oh, we yeah. go to every, we, Plato's Closet, Style Encore, Clothes Mentor. Mm -hmm. um, if you can buy clothes for not there. a ton of money, you know, we'll check it out. We'll give it a scope. Yeah. If, are you excited for me to crash your house? Um, Nick, I would no. just like to say I have a lot of breakables in my house. Can you do anything to upset them? We will lock the door. I'm gonna you're gonna sleep on the balcony. Yeah. You will sleep on the outdoor rug with an outdoor rug. Who here is not excited to see Nick on the channel on Monday the 20th? Me. <laughs> I'm kidding. It'll be a really good time. It'll be fun. Yeah, Are you but have a room up here? No, we're from here. We'll have to call it. Yeah, get ready, Nick. Yeah. Nick, you're not going to sit on our bed. You're going to sit on the floor. <laughs> um, yeah, when we <laughs> source, we source, like, all day. Like, all, like, and it's it definitely, is, like, multiple, like, if we're not doing good at one location, we'll say, let's go here. Or, you know. Because there's if, a lot of options. Definitely. So. And if we go to the bins, we definitely, like, don't stay for a few bins change outs. We'll stay, like. Four or five, not as long hours. as Savannah. I don't know how the chat, but like, Savannah is able to, like, especially with I don't know if she does, but like, as pregnant as she is, she has like, a few times, but like, even not pregnant, like, how to be do there, you for, stay like, there for like eight hours, that many hours. Like, my feet hurt after like six. Yeah, I think we were there for almost seven one time, and I was like, I can't do this anymore. Like, six, yeah, and it hurt. Yeah, but we're like sourcing. It's like a no, like a normal job shift where it's like we will source for like eight hours. Different places for us yes, usually. We, we don't stay mm -hmm. at one for too long. But like, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, somebody. Wait, Someone know? said, "Do you ever send stuff to Target?" I will. But you asked Who this, this question. Um, Carolyn. Um. Okay. So if you haven't been like on board for our thread up thoughts. We like tried thread up a while back and we were gonna like let you guys follow the process and see like what we thought and it just like didn't go well. They lost a couple of my Lux items and the way that they'd like pay me back was like 50 bucks, which I could have made so much more for what they lost. So like I've had like a really bad taste in my mouth since then with them, but I have like kind of just thought it out more and like they will sell like anything you send them basically. Like they are like an online consignment store versus like the real real where it's like it has to be Lux. Like they will sell whatever. And like some things they price really well, like Armani Collection and Madewell, they price it pretty high. Um so going forward, I do still send things into thread up, but I send in Lux items that if they lost it, it would no, it would not be any like big loss for me. Like in the bins, I believe I found some Bottega Veneta sandals that I myself could probably sell for like forty dollars, and if I send them to the real world, they'd price them at like sixty. Oh, he looks hello. He looks large. Like you okay? Yeah, he looks. The sit. Um, because I will only send things in Lux or else I've heard it takes like forever for them to go through your stuff. But yeah, just, I would say with thread up, like send in items that if they lose it, you'll be fine. Like you'll yeah. be okay. But I am trying to still use them just to see what I think. I've only sent in like one since like the video of not liking them, but we'll see. Yeah. Mm, I Ryan hasn't sent me in. I am very partial to consignment stores, and since I worked in not a consignment store, we I have good in, consignment stores. I worked in a buy sell trade store for five or six years, and my sister works at a buy sell trade store now. So it's definitely like I know what'll sell like at those places versus like you know I'm not I I really don't know what sells well at like Thread Up. 
I'm like, I know kind of like what you're saying, like Armani does good, but like, I don't really ever find that much Armani Clizioni. And I take all the new tag stuff I find to consignment or not consignment, like buy, sell, trade, consignment me type stores like Clothes Winter. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just like, and also I'm not here to wait for, you know, nine weeks to get a throw up label. Oh my gosh. I don't know why they need to mail it to the you. I think that is so like, stupid. I got a label printer. We got a thermal printer. It's fine. Just send it to me. It's fine. I don't I have know. to. <sighs> Does anybody else have any other questions? We have passed two hours. So. Do you have a hiccup? Are there mm-hmm. any final questions before we sign off? Before Instead of holding you guys here shower. literally all night. Somebody says, can you sing a song? No. You should ask Becky yes. to sing you a song. What you drinking? What? Sounds like there's a plow outside. Okay, so we have, we have one neighbor who has a not very good car. <laughs> and the like front little, like not the bumper, a little like, protection thing drags in the ground. It's awful. Anyway. I'm drinking red wine. I have. Yeah. I drank my twisted tea, and I finished my slushy. <laughs> Thrifty Sue is in a food coma. Luckily, I'm Ooh, not because says, I me a minute. ordered light. But see, I think I had nachos, and chips never throw me into a food coma, which is a blessing. Mixed thread said, "How'd you meet?" I'll keep it simple. Um, Tinder. <laughs> the internet. Yeah, <laughs> it was fun. My eye keeps switching. Why is that? Good question. Consult your doctor. Maybe we've been on here too long. <laughs> Pork rinds, maybe. Um, seek medical attention. Um, okay. So, Jens, Closet Gems, thank you so much for calling us awesome. We love you. Thank you. Um, Pork rinds, if you're going to um, spam people, maybe make sure you spell correctly. So we are going to sign out because it's been nearly two and a half hours. Ooh, we've been here for a minute. And I should probably get to listing and sharing because, oh, we're already into the party. The nine o'clock central time party. So you guys should get sharing because I need to get sharing too. (laughs) Yeah. Thank you guys for joining us. And like I said, we will be live on the 20th with, Nick and CI Resale. That'll be fun. For another mukbang. That'll be a really good time. And discussion. It'll be us and, and Mike. And Mike. Tuesday, we will have a haul. And Ooh, Thursday, you... there'll be another real, real update. So look forward to that. And we will see you guys on Tuesday. Goodbye. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. <laughs>